All right, you ready, White Lou? Fuck yeah. yeah. He's, so yeah. Ready to get on. He's already dancing. He yeah. already wants to get it over with so bad. Make, oh. it, make it loud, Jacob. Oh, I I, I get no, no, you fucking. <laughs> 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 now, now I'm all embarrassed. I'm out. Hey, Lou, you get back there, Lou. No, Lou. No, Lou. Lou, no. No, Lou, no. <laughs> Who made one move? You <laughs> fucking bail. Lou went in with your feet. <laughs> you guys are dying. Lou so just went. Lou just went. You went. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it was one move. <laughs> you went. I know. Nah, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you just did like a little over the shoulder. You went. He goes. Boom. Dude. Dude. Went. went. I think that's just stupid. Lou, you can't um, quit that quick. Oh, no. Chris Penn this. Oh, uh, yeah. Kill it. And then, <laughs> Everyone no, thought you were going to kill it. didn't happen it. at all. Like oh. Holy shit, that was funny. Oh, God damn it. That really rattled those horseradish chips in my stomach. Why won't you try, Lou? I just had all the confidence drained out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you did it yourself, though. No one said anything. Uh, maybe if you guys were laughing in my face, I think I could oh, continue to We laughed fight. after. <laughs> you didn't want to move. You just went. We didn't even laugh. We can't laugh at your dancing. You never dance. You we laughed at you bailing on dancing. You threw your arm that you were about to start the flamenco. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you took off. I bet if Pete and Sebastian asked you to dance, you'd do it. Oh, right? he's right. Uh, he's right. Oh, you wouldn't have you too much EDM to dancing up? last night? There's no time for dancing. We're you too busy got, laughing. <laughs> Lou, you gotta get out there and you have to dance. Uh, Lou. Aren't you embarrassed that you made one move <laughs> oh and my then God, just dude. disintegrated into nothing? It's one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh, my fucking cheeks sir. I mean, Lou, we were not laughing at your dancing. We laughed at you bailing on the dancing. Immediately. 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 Uh, confidence comes and goes. What can I tell you? And I want to give Lou Witzke credit for knowing when to walk away. No when the <laughs> <fucking away. laughs> yeah, no the, one to hold them. No one Ken to fold them. The Kenny Rogers Award goes to Lou Witzke. <laughs> for knowing when to fold them and knowing when to hold them. Lou, you should have tried, man. No, it was way better what happened. No, what happened was got fucking... It do we? For sure? Like yeah, exactly right? what happened there? Did he get it on camera? <laughs> he I just had, did the... I had to go with my instincts. Yeah, he <laughs> said he got... I mean, he, I mean, standing right where he stood, he went... He went, all right, he went... Nah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what was about to happen? Did you become full-time new newsy cap guy? Yeah, for sure. For sure. We, we could even buy you... But that, Whitsky, then I could even buy you. Oh, yeah! Absolutely. Do me a favor, cock it to the side a little bit also. You sort of did, but cock it to the side yeah. a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Oh Are you more. Everlast? You look so Thank good. You. I'll, I'll be Everlast. honest with you, DJ Lou, I'll tell you what. what it's like seeing the blues. That's a look for you, dude. That looks good. I'm not. <laughs> I've tried that hat before, like that kind of hat. It's not, doesn't work on me. Whiskey. Weirdly, it works weirdly what works on me is that goddamn the cowboy that cowboy hat I have. It's the cowboy hat of a of a fat girl who was trying to make her titties come out on a mechanical bull. Yeah, man. It's a, it's you both a, look great with the cowboy hat on. You look like a you look like an outlaw. You look like a uh, cattle rustler, Jay. You look like a badass. You, dude, you, look look, like a, you look like a famous country singer. I DJ, tell Lou, DJ Lou looks like you're you like you're in the house of pain, dude. You're you look awesome in that hat. Dude, dude, seriously, you have a great face for that hat. Do you look like an underboss of the Irish Mafia? Look at that! <laughs> There's not a bad one on you, dude. Those They're are not, you should start right. rocking those for real. Put it backwards. Let me see if that that might not work at all. Yeah, that was the boss Queens. No, I don't like that. Backwards no, like isn't as near as good, but cocked to the side a little bit in the front. It's fine backwards, but that's looks good, dude. Yeah, yeah we yeah, found your look, DJ Lou. I'll tell you what, prison holding cell, it's almost impossible to make small talk. But if anyone can do it, it can be <laughs> anyone me. Anyone can do it. You know, while we're at it, Lou in Ohio, you want a little small talk with DJ Lou? Ah, talk, talk, Lou. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't look at him. <laughs> you know, Let's go. Look at <laughs> Is that what you would do? Just a leering stare? Hey, crackle, crackle, Lou. Oh, crackle, crackle. Uh, Is the small talk? I'm looking at No, Let's but you go. can say it back to him before he gives you the scenario. Crackle, crackle. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> 
He goes, well, now the cards are stacked against me, aren't they? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll reset. Let me reset. Let me reset. That was uh, lyrics. <laughs> uh, gee, uh, it was crackle, crackle. He went. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, thought had, I, thought had, I thought you had one of those silent seizures. And then you go, yeah, well, let's go. Uh, let's, let's go with it, buddy. Dude. What do you want to say? Do you want to ask me about the weather? All right. All right. Come on. <laughs> the thought of my head has just sent me in an elevator and him being like, hey, man, how you doing? Hey, guys, <laughs> <Just, laughs> do you? No headphones in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Try again. Try again. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, hey, Lou in Ohio. Small talk with hey. DJ Lou? Hey, crackle, crackle, DJ Lou. Crackle, uh, crackle, okay. camper. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, quick question. How does it feel to work with the venerable Jay Oakerson who just got shouted out on ESPN radio the other day? Uh, Dan and Jay are pretty much a team. You know, uh, I got to go. I got to make some sound drops. No, that's just. Uh, You're in. That, that question was not small talky by nature. That's yeah, not yeah, your yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah, small talk's also. This is someone you don't know. It's got to be someone you don't know. Uh, good shot, Small Talk. Uh, good shot at Small Talk, Lou. But I will say you probably brought one of the hardest cheek laughs I had today Dude, I, by I, having I, DJ uh, Lou just freeze on a dime at your at your, at your straight up all right, let's go. salutation, Lou. Was your ex uh, a, a garbage animal in the sack? Yeah. 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 Bad parenting. No, great parents. Okay, and, but, yeah, I you, think you, you can go that way too. You and met I just the dad. wonder why. Like, you met the dad. Yeah, yeah. Several times. You've been together for a long time. He's like, hello, hello, You're hello, still broken Lou. up, right? Yes. Okay. Very nice to meet you, Lou. Is this my little daughter you're taking out? It's very nice to have a white man come home instead of a oh, Schwarzer oh for Thanksgiving for a God, change. I'll tell you this right now. I can't leave the room without her changing it to an NBA game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every, every Hanukkah, Lamar. And <laughs> it's finally nice to have a Yom Kippur with a man who looks like the challah bread we're about to eat. <laughs> I'm sick of this pumpernickel bread coming, if you know what I mean. You're a good guy. You're Dad, a this is my new boyfriend, Lou. He's a DJ and a moil. And a moil, but you're going to love him. He does christenings, but don't let that bug him. <laughs> Every holiday, she comes Hi. home with another one of these rattlesnake dicks. Hi, Gavalt. I'll tell you this. I've had more black dick dunked in my fucking toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, who burnt the brisket, eh? Uh. Who's this fella? <laughs> I didn't know my daughter was into the end cuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it a little darker. <laughs> Who's got to go outside of his ex-girlfriend's window and yell at her on Yom Kippur? <laughs> I know she's got to be home. Who's out there with you? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one of them? Odell Beckham. <laughs> Give me an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> just insane. Who's up there, Mookie Wilson? So, you so much. Uh, old old uh, Mets. You tell me, yeah, <laughs> Daryl Strawberry. He's maybe sad at eighty-seven. Which one of them's up there with you? Doc Gooden, Keith Hernandez. I know he's not black, but he's an ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Mookie Wilson's the best one. Yeah, Mookie Wilson's the best. What do you think of this sucking off Mookie Wilson? <laughs> I gave you the best kiss of my life. <laughs> drunk drunk Lou outside of his girlfriend's house on Yom Kippur. Bonfire producer, Lou Witzke. I know what they were trying to do, but it actually made me feel a whole lot worse. Before this, I thought everybody's ex girlfriend dated people of different colors. Uh, they found it funny. I found it kind of hurtful. Kind of hurt a lot. It hurt a lot. If producer Lou Witzke thought discussion of his personal life was over, the relief was short-lived. Dude, I found this out on Instagram no more than 36 hours ago. Mm -hmm. Sleepy in bed, fully boned up. Ooh. I'm checking Instagram. Mm -hmm. I go through it. What are you looking for, all boned up? I just go through Instagram. This is morning wood. I had to pee. So I'm on Instagram, and I scroll down, and I see a picture of Lou, and did you know this? Twin brother. No idea. You had no idea. I'm going to show you. Really? Yeah. Lou's got twin brothers look just like him? He looks. It's Under twin powers, activate. In the form of super producer. What does he do, Lou? He's a bartender. Lou, is that you in the tie-dye? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't know which one's which. Well, notice because like the uh, look at this one. His twin brother dresses like Lou, and Lou's not dressed like Lou in that picture. That's why I always assume that Lou books two gigs a weekend. <laughs> he does like a bar mitzvah and a christening, and they both DJ it. Can I do my? Uh, uh, I've been watching Breaking the Magician's Code uh, on Netflix. Okay. And Lou, can you be a part of my thing where it looks like you're over there, then you're over here, but it's just you and your brother? <laughs> I think th I like that for your second hour special, you're going to add illusions. <laughs> Just some illusion. He goes, hey, everyone, you know super producer Lou? Yeah. And then uh, he's in, uh, behind this curtain. No, he's over here. Ah, where is he? He's omnipresent. Just the two. Are you guys very close? We've been together since the womb. We still live together. Really? Oh, really? No shit. Yeah. That's kind of Do you guys weird. fight a lot? No, we get along great. Have you ever had a fist fight with him? Oh, we had one. The last one was one right around the time of this picture, like when we were twenty-one. He put he put the cigarette out in your cat. <laughs> I, he was cool your, astray, your, bro. your brother's your brother's whacking down a camel light, and you're holding a baby kitten. It's and, literally two different personalities. You guys never played any games with chicks before, huh? <coughs> no, we're too jealous. We're jealous. Wow, of each other. You guys don't like seeing each other get laid. Yeah. <laughs> Takes time away from each other. <laughs> hey, stop hanging with him. He's my twin brother. Hey, I got a girl coming over. He's like setting up NHL on PlayStation. Like, what? But I thought, girl, it's, it's bro night. <laughs> we always bro out Tuesdays through Saturdays. Uh, every Thursday night, we play video games, and then we lay on the floor in the exact same position we were in mom's stomach in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bath time. <laughs> <That's just> bath time. <laughs> Bert and Ernie, <laughs> he's laying, so I imagine him like on the carpet, like how they were laying in the stomach, and, like him wrapped around it, like the way twins are in the stomach, where they're like, oh, next to each other. I wish your brother was like a like a serial killer, like he turns out to Billy be Evil Lou. Oh God, Evil Lou! Like you love, like let's take minutes after this picture that he went and like killed that cat in front of you. Yeah, uh, I never found that cat. <laughs> hey, you see, hey, bro, you seen my cat? No, what? You got a cat? Mittens, I love her. Oh, no, I just got to go out for this uh, for this pack of cigarettes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, I really saw you. you had a good bond with that cat. <laughs> Your parents never mistook you at all? They knew who was who always. Have uh, they ever fucked up? They my tagged you. Getting, my mom's getting old. She never, uh, she doesn't get it right ever anymore. If I shake marks you one and two on your foreheads, yeah, it's a marker when you come in. She stamps your hand like it's a club. She's like, she's just an old grizzled lady. She goes, "All right, you two are freaking me out. I'm gonna fucking label you. Hey, Lou, you one, you listen, two. I had too much gin before noon. <laughs> well, you're both here. I gotta get the bingo. I don't have time to figure all this horse shit out. Lou, you one, will you two? All right, raise your hand if you Lou. Good job, Mama loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my bubbler? Get over here, bubbler. <laughs> Will came out of me first. You get the first kiss of the night. Look at those bottoms. Look at that, huh? Now one of you two finooks gonna go out there and get a girlfriend and stop living with each other like you're 15 years uh, old. Which one of you has the girlfriend that loves the blacks? <laughs> Lou lost his girlfriend back to the black D pool. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> You know she's not going to stay hitched down when it's almost draft season for the NBA. What? You get lottery picks around there. <laughs> There's lo these, all these long bodies with powerful penises. <laughs> this is her season. Young, dumb, full of semen. And also <laughs> can nail a 25-foot J. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, you've never been a ball player. <laughs> Your fundamentals or what your fourth grade basketball coach called an abomination. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your outside shot abysmal. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are picking this up, but Lou, I can hear every breath you're taking. <laughs> yeah, I just heard you. Not. Uh, I don't you? know why I heard you. Yeah, I heard you. You're like, <sighs> and then I was like, who is that? And then I saw Lou drink coffee. He was like. <laughs> And I was like, well, yeah. that's a little... Uh, that's good call. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I want you to catch it before the whole episode. Everyone's like, did anyone yeah. else just hear Lou fucking... Oh, I'm going to have myself a peanut chew. I felt like you were taking me from behind, Witsky. Like, Get her out from under it. Man, these Rolos sure are sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Wait, what was that? Ah, this is lint. Okay. He's in your oh, oh, hang on. Guys are saying something about dog. Time to play a dog noise. <laughs> Just really guys, hear him. I'm, damn, I go, Do you, you, know, you did it again, dude. Your timing's impeccable. <laughs> guys, do you know that Lou talks to himself under his breath the entire time he does the show? I like doing Lou's inner, inner monologue. Oh, boy, you sure just nailed it there, dude. Yep, that was really... Wait. 
Big headed one tossed out a voice. Hit him. Oh man. Hit him with some music. Suck my dick, Fred Norris. Yeah. Good <laughs> roll with me, dude. I exist because yeah. of you. But now the lion will eventually kill the father lion. Yeah. I am the oh. sensei. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Uh our what fresh our what's fresh segment today is we just found out there's a fresh clip of Marilyn Manson yeah. facing his allegations. He did a press conference actually. What a, yeah, I used to really be up on Manson News. For the fact that Lou had to bring this to me Wits- is, uh, upsets me. Witsky, can I ask you, was it like a classic press conference, like an MLB or a post-NBA game? Like, was there, like, logos behind it? Like, yes, you know, cam- cameras flashing, yes. Manson absinthe? <laughs> Go ahead, play this thing. Play this some bitch. Mr. Mr. Manson, is it true that you're right, woman? <laughs> oh, it's just audio? Yeah. He's walked in and out of. That was it. I got caught. Wait, Lou. <laughs> yeah. uh, when did you get fresh the new biggie bag? Uh, it's got a bacon cheeseburger, I think. I don't know. We thought you actually had a real press conference thing where he's answered. I didn't know you made a bit. <laughs> Me yeah. and Dan s- sold it and made a whole big segment around it. Yeah, we're like, oh, man, there ain't nothing here. You just fucking compl- I'm like, it's just audio. It's so weird. You and then me, ha- me and Dan both, by the way, sat here. It was 30 seconds long, you said, Lou? Yeah. Fa- seven seconds in, I felt like an ass. And it, by the way, kudos to you. 20 seconds in, Dan still didn't know what was happening. And then 26 seconds, realized that, oh, we've been had. <laughs> I could Completely I t- got Geraldo Rivera. I told was, you it uh, was a com- bit at another time. I just didn't tell you it was a bit today. Lou, we smoke a joint per episode. <laughs> I do. Do you, do you think we're going to remember that? Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Gonna, I didn't know you were going to sell it so hard. I mean, we completely sold We it. made it the bit. You could have said something on the commercial break when we said, what are we doing for Wendy's Get Fresh? Where now you can get a bacon cheeseburger and crispy or spicy nuggets and unlike, fries and a drink right now for $5. And, but, and unlike Lou, there'll be something in the bag when you go to Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds of footsteps. Yeah, he gave us, he gave us 40s radio f- effects. <laughs> and then the thunder came. <laughs> clip, clop, clip, clop. That's actually my hands and <laughs> shoes <laughs> on a desk next to the microphone. Yep, so he dressed the charges. That was it. Can I suggest that maybe you go against grain with your talents and maybe actually do DJ a wedding? DJ Lou. What? Let's get to it. Let's get to it because I've been hearing this bubble up. It's not a bubble. It's not. No, no, no. It's not a bubble up at all. I'm saying I've watched the situation go from being nothing to a thing. Yeah. To there's no uh, ill feelings here in, in, in any sort of way. It's just very funny that uh, DJ Lou, who I believe has told us he, uh, on weekends he's had gigs, um, DJing a wedding. Five years more, he said uh, this. Uh, 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 maybe a bar mitzvah. I don't know. Like, but it's like parties. Uh, I've done very small, poor weddings and uh, bar mitzvahs and you christenings. Didn't, you, you didn't send it like that, though. You said no, you've you, done these you, things. Yeah. I believe at one point you said it was for uh, someone high-ranking in the government. We call you DJ Lou. DJ Lou is not... You earned that. Yes. We thought that you could do exactly what it is you're doing right this moment. <laughs> yeah. And then just say a name and personalize it. So I thought... It's I'd for be- Brittany and Michael! So I thought it'd be funny. I know Dan's going to be invited to my uh, sister's wedding. And uh, and I was like, it would be funny if just like lose down. We we thought about possibly taking the whole crew down and doing Great. like a live from my sister's wedding day. Sure, which would be hilarious because DJ Lou, I said, I'll hire you. I'll pay you. Look like, legit. You're a wedding DJ to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, knowing you, uh, four days a week forever, <laughs> five years, five years. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, remember you said you were a wedding DJ. What a way to incorporate. Two people you love together from different worlds. My sister would think it's so... When I suggested the idea that, I, oh, you should have DJ Lou DJ, she goes, oh, my God, would he? I go, I absolutely. if he's available, I'm sure he would. He, he does. That's his job. He does. So I tell DJ Lou, he goes, man, absolutely, that is great. Then, 
She goes, well, weeks ago. Will Soder announce this as uh, bride and groom as <laughs> Macho Man? <laughs> she keeps going, all right, you're adding, asking for a lot yeah. now. She goes, will he dress up like it? Like like Slim Jim could, Savage, could, not like 88. Could, could Jacob Eagle. wear the Western stuff and be our wedding planner? Yeah, I go, now to announce Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> for the first time. Them, <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. And she's like, he's doing it. And Jacob's there, dressed as, in his airwolf costume. Yeah, so... <laughs> they, they work it out. He, he said he's going to do it. So a couple weeks ago, he comes to me a little nervous. Sure. Maybe, maybe a week, two weeks ago. And he goes, hey, with your sister's wedding, like, I don't know. And I'm, I'm glad we had this talk. Because he goes, do you, were you here for this? No. Dan wasn't here? No. No, but you've told me off air. He goes, listen, the thing is, I'm not actually a DJ. I am more like an apprentice to a DJ. I go, excuse me? Wait, so what do you mean? You got like... He goes, I, I, I'm not actually, I, the other guy is the DJ. I'm like the apprentice, which I've never even heard of this position. When do you go through the challenge to become an actual <laughs> DJ? You're, yeah, you're a red belt DJ? You must go to Scratch Mountain <laughs> and DJ a storm. <laughs> Only then, DJ a storm under a canopy. Only then may you become a true DJ. If those 17-year-old girls wearing panties and fur boots yeah. stop dancing, you'll never get your match. <laughs> what is your party style? <laughs> He's like, drunken Lou. He's like, ah, you've trained under the best. So Weddings, he, bar mitzvahs. He says, I'm, I'm the Retired. apprentice, which yeah. we'll dig into hard in a Dude, second. He's a Padawan. <laughs> yeah, he's a prospect. Mm. He doesn't have the full patch Pros- yet. Yeah, he's, he's doing bottom rocker. <laughs> yeah, he, doesn't so. get, he doesn't get top rocker yet. So he says, I'm the apprentice. He goes, and I'm like, okay. So already <laughs> right there, I did have a thing in me. It's kind of like, Just oh, the well. fact that like he's like sitting there like, you all right, boss? He's like, I'm just thinking... The Sugar Ray every morning go into uh, celebrate. I just, <laughs> I just don't know. At that point, he goes, "Ah, oh, master, you think too much. <laughs> master, you are forgetting your DJ skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't understand, young apprentice, for there is only one wedding at this VFW a month. Steve and Lucy." <laughs> Stephen and Lucy are having a holy union. I must DJ the reception perfectly. So when he says that, right away I already have, I go, well, that's a little weird because uh, my picture was DJ Lou's DJing the wedding. That's yeah, going to be awesome. I think I'm going to hang with him the whole one time. in his hand, old Mets hat on, maybe a suit. I think I was going to kick it with him most of the time, like laughing about shit and yeah. talking about stuff for the show. Looking like a guy that just sold his land to an oil company. Having fun. So uh, that's what I thought, but I was like, all right, well, he's there still, so I guess maybe he can even hang a little more and because he's not a... Uh, actually DJing it turns out yeah he's just loading up the gun and then he goes he's just putting bullets in the fucking machine gun and, and he goes I gotta tell you I'm a little nervous too he goes well, I'm not understand. He, he goes well, I don't understand what they want he goes and I go hey Lou I needed tequila about three songs ago are we gonna do this or what yeah, you're not calling limbo uh, yeah I'm fucking losing I'm Lou so where goes, are you he goes, uh, he goes what do they want exactly I go a, a wedding DJ he goes, but what do you mean? I mean, they want like show drops and all kinds of stuff, like like show references. And I went, no, 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 no. This isn't no. Don't want YMCA. This is a bonfire event. They go, just how you DJ, apprentice a wedding normally. <laughs> just do that thing. Yeah. There, I, I go. We're hiring you as like a DJ. De- the, the fun thing of it is that you are also a wedding DJ. We were under the impression. And and now, it's slightly different than you said, but you're but you're there. And then he's like, oh, okay, good. I was nervous. And then uh, a week later, he goes, I'm not doing your sister's wedding. <laughs> Why? Did your, did your master strike it down? <laughs> yeah. Did he tell you he was your father? Yeah. He goes, you turn against me in this wedding, and there will be problems. <laughs> strike me down. And I, dude, What happened? Uh, he said he didn't want to do it. He had too much going on uh, in the month of October. Now, you said he was nervous, Lou. I also didn't use the word apprentice. Uh-oh. No, no, that's true. You did use <laughs> nervous. You did not say it. Wait, I think you may have said apprentice. Assistant? Assistant, I think. You think that sounds better? <laughs> that sounds like you should be wearing a skirt, dude. I'll At least apprentice it. seems like you're going to become him. Assistant seems like you're a college girl I looking do, for, a, like for a summer credit. I'll give you one of the best weddings in New Jersey. This hot piece of ass is my <laughs> assistant. <laughs> it's my assistant. Mr. DJ, do you want your sandwich? Yeah. You're the eye candy while yeah. he DJs? Yeah. 
Well, of course. Oh, you dropped something. Lou, can you get it for our friend? <laughs> Lou, bend over and hand me my vinyl of uh, YMCA. Oh, looks like they need to play the chicken dance. Make your butt clap, Lou. <laughs> Lou, make your butt clap for the people. <laughs> Lou, get out there and start the dancing. Is that what you do? Are you a party starter? <laughs> <laughs> Starter? Come on now, get up, Grandma. grandma you're not too old sense. to boogie. I know. He's got a headset mic yeah. on. I know you're but not God, too old to boogie with me, are you? He's got both of her Hi, arms. I'm DJ Lou from the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series X 95. Oh. I'm here to make you guys have the best experience of your Good life. Good evening to the Wachowski and the Chongs coming <laughs> together. Love, Grandma Chong, Grandma Wachowski. Come on, we Good can do it. it. Left foot on one, two, three. Left foot. Oh, one, oh, two. Oh. Oh, Three. looks right like foot. Huh. Two. looks like Three. this wedding is going to have a little bit of rhythm to it. Let's bring out the bridesmaids. <laughs> Halfway through, he's just in the fucking bag, hammered. Oh, damn, he goes, dude. I'm going to probably take a stab at your sister. Come on. Well, 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 Jay, <laughs> like, no surprise. A lot of fat people in your family. Whoa. Woo-wee. Look at the line for that buffet. Dance floor empty. <laughs> All the carbs being piled on like a fumble at the five. I can't wait to see these pigs dive for a goddamn bouquet of flowers. Is this thing on? Yeah. He goes, you guys clearly have been inbred. Blue. Dude, the thought of Lou having one of those mics and then leaving it on when he's hammered and he's just <laughs> yeah. talking to a lady and it's it going off. over, he goes, ah, I'm pretty much the brains behind everything on the bonfire. He, I'll What's tell you the what. bonfire? He goes, I'll tell you what, suck me off in the closet, i get you a t-shirt. I got him in the car. I got him right in the car. I got him in the car. Yeah, I'm driving She's home. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> you're driving home. He goes, I can't drive yeah. home. She goes, did you, you leave think it? this is drunk? You haven't seen me drunk, sweetheart. <laughs> you haven't seen me drunk. Did you leave it with valet? He goes, I so the Chong family's like, someone turned his microphone off. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's causing everyone to be upset. <laughs> There's nothing. Anything, I, anything more shameful than that? That I'm into? Yeah, there but has like, to be. But well, like what we're talking about is like... Big Barbara Streisand guy. Okay. And West Side Story. West Side Story is a great example. I could mouth the words of West Side Story for you. It's the way that... Lou I like, probably loves- mouth the words of Greece. I'm just saying I don't currently watch it two times <laughs> in one weekend. Luke. And I don't call it my favorite movie of all time. I'm Luke. not proud of it. Luke, how many times in 2019 have you watched Greece? I'd say five times. To- uh... Yeah, I'm over five times. It's crazy. I haven't watched anything so five times. Do you ever put on a slick back wig and go out as the bad guy? <laughs> the guy who fucked Rizzo? When I was younger. Who, Kaneki? No, the guy who fucked her. No, the guy with bad the, acne. Oh, the guy with the crater face. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't want, Edward James almost face. I don't want to be that no, guy. No, stop the crater face. What's, he say? What's the line? You know it. Uh, something, something, crater face. Oh, I forget. I'm, I'm being put on the spot. Would you come before that this weekend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there wow. he is. The best is when Rizzo's walking by. She goes, get out of here, guys. This ain't no gangbang. And then one guy goes, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best part when he gives his little uh, elbow thing. Hey. I got a picture with uh, Idris Elba at the Foxhole Celebrity Weekend. No, did you? Yeah. Were you trying to bang? Did it look like it was your make-a-wish? Yeah. No, he was like, I just thought, I thought, oh my God, that's Stringer Bell. And one of the guys hooked up the, the photograph. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Am I the no, only one who doesn't know who that is? The world's sexiest man, Lou. Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell from The Wire. B.D. Wong. Who the fuck knows? Idris Alba, dude. I don't know. It sounds like a girl. Whoa, bro. You down. heard me. 2019, what's up? I think it was cool. He protects uh, Thor's... The uh, travel system. Who the fuck is Thor? Oh my god! Right, well, I mean that one. Come on, man. Are you living under a rock? What, are you only fucking black chicks now or something? Yeah. You know who Thor is? Who's Thor? I know meteor. What's man. that? Some Viking ass motherfucker? Probably racist. Mm-hmm. I'm just so far behind on the references. You don't know who Thor is? The reference from 1955. The Scan- also known as the Scandinavian <laughs> god. All right, the, the hammer. Yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> Who's Thor? He goes. I don't know who this Zeus character he, is. The Incredible Who? Yeah. <laughs> Hercules sounds made up. Super what? Yeah, what? what? There's a man that's made out of bats. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Robin. Now there's a name I could wrap my brain around. That's a chick, right, with a heavy chest, and she brings beers. <laughs> they uh. Joe They don't respect us here, Jacob. They How don't. do you feel about that? If someone has to walk the halls with these pieces of shit, <laughs> do you feel like they snicker when you walk by? They go. Those are the little comedy boys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I don't like it. I, I want our own studio. But yeah. It's we employ Jews, blacks, whatever fucking hairy thing Christine is. Mm-hmm. A Polish. A Polish. 
a fetal well, you're alcohol not Bullinger, issue, right? baby. Uh, for this purpose, I could be. Yeah, yeah, please. I mean, for the rest whatever of you are is probably not that sympathetic. German. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think? I don't think you have a, a warm ethnicity. <laughs> yeah. Actually, working this show was how they punished uh, Lewitsky. Yeah. By making him work with blacks and Jews he goes, and women. He goes. What do you? And I gotta treat them like they're my uh, my equal. I use the soundboard as an instrument. Don't you understand? <laughs> Oh, That's great. Oh, it's Lou's. Lou, your phone's ringing. <laughs> Ring tone. That's Lou's alarm. That's Lou's alarm on his phone. You gotta wake up. DJ Lou, it's time to start the show. He goes, Und stragen, stragen. He goes, nine more minutes. <laughs> he wakes up and goes, ah, it's gonna be a good day. <sighs> when I wake up and my fjord's got on his makeup. <laughs> DJ Assistant Lou. I can't call him DJ Lou anymore. He's not a DJ. DJ Assistant Lou. DJ Assistant Lou. Wait, um, does she doing that? I'm sorry. I missed it. Lou, you've been a DJ for I don't know how many decades. Not not at all. Zero decades. He's an assistant. Well, when do you officially, like, how long do you have to train for? What a crazy question to ask, right? How long do you have to not have the patch of the motorcycle club? (laughs) Jacob, the question is, how long does rain take to form? (laughs) Hang on. Uh, I asked, this is Falcone, I asked DJ Lewitsky to DJ my wedding, he turned me down. He did send me the, all I do is win uh, from, oh, that's cool, so that's something. So he He did did send something along. You're terrified of DJing. I'm not terrified. Do you have two turntables? No, I don't have any equipment. That's why I'm the only the assistant. <laughs> You're a DJ with no equipment? I'm not really a DJ. I would have sworn to God that you have turntables at your house and a mixer. And he goes, Man. dude. And there's Who's a bunch a prospect? He's still a prospect. He's still a prospect. Yeah. But DJ you're a prospect, prospect. But you don't even have a bike. Yeah, he just shows up. <laughs> you don't even have a starter bike. He goes, prospect, you need a ride? <laughs> need a ride to the gig? He's got a record player. Why don't you go get me some tall boys and come back with a pack of smokes for me? I think, dude, I'll be halfway through the Macarena if you can hang. I think on a big, big birthday, a big, big birthday treat for Lou one day, me and Dan might have to go halves on just getting you the dude. CD turntables, dude. I'll and go get, get you, you out there, man. I'll get, get you, you a big ass. Bi- we'll go get you a fucking setup. Every, I promise you, we could open the phone lines up and everyone would call in and say, everyone believes that you were a DJ. Well, I'm a radio DJ. What? I'm not a real DJ. I'm not a real DJ, right? Yeah, you are. You're not a DJ. I'm not a DJ. I'm He's a, not a DJ. Are you a DJ in your heart? Best motherfucking apprentice out there, though. Goddamn right. You are. No, it sounds like you're a horrible apprentice, but you're fantastic <laughs> at, at this. <laughs> you're so good at this. The best in the world, I'd argue. Who can teach you anything? Dude? What <laughs> That's the fuck a, is wrong yeah. with you? Also, well, I, I think it's just you're not doing it. That better be clean. <laughs> clean. Okay. And number two. Great no. point. Great point. <laughs> Who's it? This guy's like, oh, um, anyways, this is how you fade it in. And Lou's like, I mean. Lou's, crazy. Lou's smoking a cigarette, watching everything get set up. He goes, yeah, I got it. You have to have picked something up. What do you mean? Picked up knowledge? Yeah, but you could just do it. I can just do it. I just don't want to do it. I don't have equipment. I'd rather be the apprentice so there's no pressure on me. <laughs> Why you just not go? I, I kind of get that. What, you love going to weddings? Because people he want goes, me to be a DJ. I goes, don't want to be one. I'm sorry. I love love. So Guilty. <laughs> yeah. Guilty is charged for love and love. Because well, people want you to do it. So you they ask you to do a gig, and then you middleman a DJ so you can go to the wedding. Yes. That's so funny. He goes, he's like, he's like a madam. He goes, what kind do you want? <laughs> yeah. You want techno? You want rock? What do you want? I got a whole stable of fellows. Is this what you go through to not have to find a date for a wedding? I just like weddings. You just say, I, you say I'm here with the DJ. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just here with the DJs. What's up with your guys' finger foods? Hey, Mr. DJ's assistant, you can get me started. Does he let you, like... Fuck sit, yeah, he does. Does he let you train, like, uh, how, when people come up and ask for a song? He lets you handle that? He yeah. tells you how to talk to them and all that? He watches him. Does he ever and then he's got, a, he's got a long bamboo stick that he slaps when Lou does something <laughs> wrong, like a kung fu movie. <laughs> Where they go, excuse me, do you guys have any, like, uh, Britney Spears? And he goes, oh, I don't think so. You, you always say yes, <laughs> even when the answer is no. <laughs> all right. He goes, all right, party rod. He comes this over he's goes, got, like a, de- like, a fucking wedding DJ <laughs> to him. Okay, fucking... This is too cool. Everybody goes, hey, Hotshot, listen. He goes, quick quiz. Right now, we're playing You Know You Make Me Want to Jump. I fade this out. 
What's the song I play next? He's like, oh, I know this. I know. He goes, say it now. Uh, say it now. The mother-in-law is looking at it's, you. It's, it's uh, Macarena. He's like, no. Mambo number five, dude. <laughs> Mambo Sit number back five. Down. Montel Jordan. Lou. What was his this name? This is why I can't take a day off. He goes, Lou, you got it. Lou Bega. Lou <laughs> Bega. He goes, he goes, Jordan Bega. Jordan Bega. Drill it. Drill it. Drill it. Lou, you got to see the party. Lou, Lou what's the name of your sensei? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. He yeah, why would we get him more work? He's like, afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, why plug his business? He's terrified to do the job that he's yeah. got a fucking business card for. You got to lull him out of a hole like a groundhog. Do you call him master? Yeah. Uh, Two uh, nervous <laughs> guys DJ service. <laughs> he goes, Lou, what is best in life? He's like, to have your, to have your enemy in a mambo line. To watch the hors d'oeuvres crushed in front of you and to hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, Lewitsky, you are a worthy student, for you have served me for 20 years, but now you must go on your own. The, Finkels, the Finkelsteins will get married at the JCC next weekend. <laughs> you will provide. And wait, Lou, did you, uh, did you find it? Did you it. talk I, yeah, to... Did you talk to your ex-girlfriend over the holidays at all? No. Not at all? No. That's over and done, totally. Oh, she texted me out of the blue. Oh, drunk text? Did you bang? I didn't answer it. Yeah. Good for you. Dude. Have you banged since the girlfriend? No. Oh, someone else? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little thing going on. Yeah. yeah. How did we not hear about this? We share everything. I, I, there's a few, but I have, you know, I've, the older ladies, I have some... What the fuck? What, what just shit, happened? I have to get my shit in order, and then I'm going to tell you the story. There's something weird going on. Who's bagging four 50-year-old women? <laughs> are you bagging 50-year-olds? That felt 50 like a congressional... <laughs> Lou, are you bagging a 50-year-old? I forgot how I said It's like, that. I don't know what to tell you first, because they're old, and <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep some of it secret. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> how old do they get? Uh, they all have grown-up kids. Uh, grown-up kids? <laughs> but how old are they? Are you Stop fucking... telling me about their grown-up are kids. You... Are you made out with a 53-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking the Golden Girls? Menopause. Yeah, dude, you're going for when everything dries up. <laughs> yeah. Just made out. She didn't take her teeth out and suck you off. Yeah, you do. You do like those guys who uh, go to foreclosed houses and flip them. <laughs> you do that with vaginas after hysterectomies. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh, I heard they cleaned you out. Finally, enough space for my Jeez. big fat Jersey dick. <laughs> uh, yeah, flip or flop with his old puss with Lou. Did you get rid of those ovaries? Good. They were just in the way of my fat dong. Ah, oh, cool. I did this. I used to do this in Williamsburg where they cleaned out. A bunch of muffler factors. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, we're not done talking about this today. <laughs> and a boy's and dream. A boy's dream. Oh, you're an old lady who needs some young dick in a boy's dream. Deep <laughs> in the sand. She was a folk singer. Oh, you're talking about T-Rish? Don't try to deflect. <laughs> oh, he's trying to deflect. He does not want to talk about. DJ Lewitsky. Uh, I'm so to... excited. <laughs> finding out that you're into older gilfs i have an active dating life you sure do okay why do you just keep saying it yeah we're not <laughs> like it's a political on you we're just we're digging into your world dan dan agrees with us that picture that sarah mcpants tweeted out which you can see at the bonfire sxm which is one hey of lou our, uh, hike up your a skirt lady. a little her, hike up your skirt a little more and show your world very hot lady oh she's very in the picture yeah where is it yeah it's a very attractive woman which you just, can you bring up the tweet? It says lose a uh, pharmaceutical rep. I want to find out about this. For it's for older ladies that want to fuck. What's yeah. it called? Uh, Os Osfina. Yeah, she's got like an Emmy Wu Harris. I think Emmy Wu Harris is super. Oh, I think she, looks like Winona Ryder just saw so a ghost. Hard. Yeah. Ooh, I don't care. I, yeah. Gray hair is. I think it can be I, sexy. Yeah, I lady. think I like gray hair. Oh hell yeah! Lose out there, silver fox hunting. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you remember uh, the silver daddies dot com? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what. Fun. I you remember the silver daddies? <laughs> Those are like older. Sounds, old, by the way, that sounds, oh my god! It sounds, great. Like a, it sounds like a pancake house. Silver daddies like old uh, old gay guys who like uh, send like, pictures of you know like oh, that's the silver daddies. Yeah, silver daddies. You Google Google image silver daddies. 
Yeah, I bet Lou's maybe gonna, like cock or something. I bet Lou's got a bunch of those dried out fucking bingo markers. Yeah, at his house, he, he, they, <laughs> they're all dried out because they just came back and they didn't have time to put the cap back on. He goes, she goes, hold on, hold on, Lewis, let me put this cap on. And he goes, <laughs> I Lewis, need, I need you now. <laughs> oh, no, I need you now. My name's Lou. I need you now. <laughs> Uh, okay. I got a call with Pete man. and Sebastian in 15 minutes. We're going to do this now. <laughs> Young man. Young man. Oh. Young man. Have you ever removed a diaper before? <laughs> <laughs> Did you do you get did you fuck her like during on Golden Pond like what happened? <laughs> did you time your cum with Brando's heart attack and Godfather? I had a tomato garden exactly like that. <laughs> How I miss gardening. My son died when I was 34. It was when my Richard died. Yeah, we lost the house Richard with the greenhouse. When my Richard died. Yeah, it's the only time you give her a whole pearl necklace and she's already wearing a pearl necklace. She goes, hold on, let me move that pearl necklace to give you a pearl necklace. I always look the my before that. He goes, when my Stephen passed away, yeah. I thought I would never find a love again. But Lewis, oh. you have shown me a new world. Lewis, you're a strong strong as the wedding night when my Benjamin held me and dragged me across the... Oh, what is that terrible noise you're listening to? Pearl Jam? Oh, well, my grandmommy made some Pearl Jam herself. <laughs> I can whip you up some. Have you ever had apricot jam? Why don't you whip up some Pearl Jam for me, young man? I want some of your Pearl Jam. Don't worry. Guys. I've been barren That's since the second Reagan administration. <laughs> I wish the joke went itself that, that Lou's new old lady uh, jizz load should be called Pearl Jam. <laughs> What's going on? What are you going to have Pearl Jam this week, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to have Pearl Jam? He's going to a bingo hall. Throw out some Pearl Jam. Oh, oh that looks good. Is it? Old chicks are pretty hot. Stu, no, pack up the bags. We're going to AC. <laughs> These are like Stu. some hot old chicks. Oh hell yeah. Stu likes some really. Stu likes some eighteen nineteen. Lou likes some sixty sixty two. And there's only one place that meets. Three p.m. at a casino hotel. That's fucking great. Yeah, Lou. Do you look like, like Olympia Dukakis? I picture Lou fucking an Olympia Dukakis. A strong, yeah. handsome woman. <laughs> my Michael. <laughs> I love that. When my Albert died, I thought I would never dance again. And then you came along, Lou, and took me dancing. Oh, at first, that's I right. Thought... That's why. This is why Lou learned ballroom dancing. So we go fuck all ladies. He told us he took ballroom dancing classes. I remember, Lou. I took it on my own because I wanted to do the Lindy Hop. No, why did you want to? Why did you want to do the Lindy Hop? You took the ballroom can You you really did? Yeah, just for the. Fuck why do you want to do the Lindy Hop? Just wanted... for the fuck of it. Why did you build a time machine to go to the Poconos in 1952? Ru you go, <laughs> Stu. Yeah. Stu, meet me in the backyard. Can you <laughs> keep the secret? Yeah. I fucking believe what I found. <laughs> Dan, uh, Dan Stu is my twin brother, just for uh, you know that. some reference. <laughs> I just, there's, dude, there's no way you went ballroom dancing without the plan to fuck an old chick. There's no way. That's just a fact, Lou. No, we like the... Because uh, we wanted to... Because I'm stuttering and can't talk doesn't mean I have a point. But you haven't stuttered until this part. <laughs> oh, shit. Meanwhile, she has a... She's a widower, so we got to... All right, that's that. What? She actually is a widower. So, <laughs> you're hurting feelings, so let's just stop this right Jesus now. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I like Lou. Lou's at the bottom dancing class. He's like, so hypothetically, like this is pretty good for meeting all the ladies, right? The guy goes, yes, sir, if you could get back in line, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to stretch. Is it John Glenn's wife? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> She's a widower. <laughs> you whispered to America. So stop hurting feelings now, all right? People oh, die. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. well. She's sorry. next. No. <laughs> isn't this, sorry, that's uh, wait, isn't this just a Harry Chapin song? I'm so sorry that that happened, Lou, but you have to admit the funniest part of this thing is uh, when, my, when my Alfonso passed. <laughs> I gave our son all of his mustache wax. You know he. You know what? You know what my boy did. My own flesh and blood. He went down to Argentina and spent it all. And I know one of the last conversations me and my Albert had were that money's gonna buy us that farm we want up in Vermont. <laughs> well, he wants me to be happy. I don't mind living in this roadside motel. I've got my tea and I've got my sewing stuff and now I've got you, Lou. <laughs>
You got you and your powerful arms. She still wears elbow gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a sandwich before you go to work over at the bond? Yeah, it's like it's an old timey sandwich too. It's just like mayo and cucumbers. Like, what is this from the Great Gatsby? What is this? He fucking packs you a, a tin, a tin uh, lunch pail. Now, oh, it's fucking so funny. I've got some of old Alfonso's suits in the closet. That's amazing. See if something fits you, see if you. Oh, you just look like a. You look like about a 32 long. <laughs> just like my Alfonso. <laughs> well, so, I guess you could say I have a type. Do you ever ask her, like, what the birth of jazz was like? <laughs> yeah. When did she know we were going to get involved in World War II? Right after Pearl Harbor? <laughs> Oh man, oh. I love it. What is it? Cool banging an older chick? I didn't bang her yet. But now I'm not going to. Thanks, guys. Oh, why is that? No, totally bang Lou. Oh, he's Lou right. gentle. He's Honestly, gonna... I still think you have a shot. And <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you have a big shot still. You guys, he's right though. What do old people radio. listen to? The radio. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, satellite radio. The, yeah, she goes. By the way, Lou, I was listening to space radio, and I turned yeah. it from an episode of The Shadow <laughs> on <onto> your show. <laughs> <laughs> and why well, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe if the if the man with the slow voice wasn't talking about my my dead deceased husband Michael. And I said, Well, that's not the Lou I know. The Lou I know works with those Italian boys, yes. Pete and Sebastian. And they would never talk about a woman like that. Family men, I believe. They both have family, children. <laughs> those men why those men on the radio, they none of them could have had a daughter or a son or anything. Anyways, Lou, I'll be right by the window waiting for you to pull up in that roadside motel. Reading by candlelight. It's easy on my eyes. I wouldn't mind if you kissed with the lights off. <laughs> and you can feel my soft old breasts. <laughs> She, she's gonna come out in a long house gown. I know. Right. I didn't. Like, Lewis, you're like, I was just in the neighborhood. <laughs> he's he's the, wearing a construction uniform. It's, he's got the bottle of wine and he's wiping his mouth. He goes, <laughs> I was just close. Oh, man. Lou, it's midnight. I have to be up in four hours for do nothing. You, do you do the animal cracker scene in Armageddon but with, with like a Werther's original? <laughs> You eat it out of her super deep belly button. <laughs> now everyone's ganging up on me. It's just one hair and a Sacagawea at the end of it. <laughs> he goes, and this is Eddie, and Eddie's going to the gig. And Eddie's like, where's Mike McCready? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the Hey, where's Mike McCready? Is he in here? Hello? 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 Is anybody in here? In here? Oh, Mark! Oh, are you down there? <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, I did the Armageddon scene. Holy fuck, that hurts my face. Would you eat this chick's cooch? Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You're a gentleman. It's right. a gentleman. There you go. I've never seen a 52-year-old She box. goes like, uh... In person. Yeah. I would. I'd take a look. Should he taste in that? That's Jimmy Carter's administration. I'd give it a gander. Oh. Yeah. Lou, if you want, I can lay down well, over the Well, first, the first roadside hand job thing I ever got was from an older lady. She may have been 53 as possible. I got, yeah, nice. I got a the, the start of a blowjob from a 46-year-old woman when I was 20. It's pretty good. Gross. <laughs> Start of a blood job. Gross when you're 20. When you're 20, though. I fuck a 47 year old heartbeat, but. Yeah, when I was 20, though, I was like. I shouldn't say in a heartbeat. Not yeah, it sounds like uh, you've been waiting for I, it. I, I fuck, <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Is she, you know her? Is she around? Is um, she still 45? I'm just saying, I don't think 40. If I thought a girl was like pretty uh, enough to hook up with 47, wouldn't be like the thing I was like, no. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know if there's any age that would do that, I guess. Cause I, I'm sure I would never be blown away by an 80-year-old. <laughs> Whoa, are you possibly 80? Oh, my God, Sophia Loren. <laughs> Get well, those clothes off of I guess I was 21, 39. That's the oldest. Now I got 39-year-old. You're like, fuck. <laughs> like, do we go to high school I'm together? I'm 39 <laughs> years old, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. Lou, what's the oldest you've gone ever? Well, uh, this is the record, yeah. 53. 53 is the record? And when I was 22, I went with the 42. I'm 42. You're 42? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's, that's not such a bad thing. You look like you're a very young looking uh, 42. You look young. Oh, you thanks, Dan Saints Remain. Yeah, you're welcome. We're very Wait, old. Oh, I know how you said that. Yeah. I know how you said that, you sneaky devil. 
This was the old show. They would never make fun of me like well, this. Well, the old show didn't launch. What was, was going on? Why were you buying a Jetta? Were you going to drive a 14-year-old girl to get an abortion? Are you following Dave Matthews' band on the road? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got good gas mileage and a bar's dream. Oh, the prosperous ride with low mileage. It still smells like girl in a bowl oh, of cream. Rear and rear and side sensors and dual airbags. Not a chance. And a boss. Something had a roll down window. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook scam. What did it say? What year was it, Lou? Uh, 2008. 2008. Okay. Jetta. So it's 11 years old. So you see it in a group. And somebody, somebody posted, uh, this is for my sister. She doesn't have Facebook. Give her an email, which I did. And she said you got to buy it off of eBay if you want it off from me. And you can only pay in eBay gift cards. That's weird. Oh, That's really? suspect as shit. Well, the whole thing was just a gay check to see what guys yeah. were going to respond to hey, buy wait, also, uh, also, you got to <laughs> go on Amazon and pick your favorite lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was a whole thing I had to do. And then I had to go say my favorite pattern of dress. Um, <laughs> I had to, my favorite bracelet link. I had to email her a seductive dance video. <laughs> Of me doing some late 90s to early 2000s R&B. <laughs> I had the right of soliloquy. Uh, uh, a lot of hoops for this Jetta. Did you, when did you know you were being scammed? Did you give her money? No, but I gave her my info and my phone number. Andy told him he was being scammed. That's when I stopped. And uh, Mark face <laughs> Andy said, you're him. being scammed. Yeah, he's like, dude, stop. Don't call them. I just want you to buy my Jetta, baby. Baby, it's me, <laughs> Bunny. It's Bunny. Why can't you buy BB Bunny? You I need it. Be he's like, oh, I'll be your hero. This Jetta was once owned by Mike McCready. And he's like, hold on. What? what the fuck? It's the advertising thing. <laughs> yeah. They know him so well. <laughs> if I was Google, Mike McCready drove this Jetta. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> and it's up here in my local Facebook group from New Jersey, from near Teaneck, New Jersey. He goes, this car was kicked in the rims by an angry Eddie Vedder when the turn was made while the walk signal was going. Hey, man, I'm crossing the street here. Hey, my aunt pedestrian's in the road, too. Clack. I'm drinking my wine across the street. I'm trying to get to ukulele practice. <laughs> Lou, how much was she asking for in, in eBay? One grand. Credit? A thousand. For a car? I know. Seems like too good to be true, hey? Well, it is. It is. It was too good to be true. <laughs> I know you bought eBay gift cards for somebody. I was going to. I was on my way to the store. And oh, I just uh, no, you were to come to investigate God. to investigate Wait, if Justin. eBay gift cards exist. <laughs> yeah, they do. Are you going to walk to the store and not? Buy All them? right, I'll see if these things exist. I'll goes, buy them, but I don't know. I speak to the manager of this CVS. <laughs> Are these real? Uh, yeah. Are these things real? Right now, I'm just going to make sure because a girl told me she'd give me a car if I bought these for. He goes thousand dollars. The guy goes for a Jetta. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. I'd say do it. I say here you go. Where'd you see this on Facebook? Yes. In your hometown group? You go in your hometown group <laughs> yes. on Facebook? He's unlocking the case with him, and he goes, what? He goes, yeah. all right. That's a little weird. I don't think right. I can sell you this. <laughs> Son, are you on methamphetamines? Um, so you haven't. So where are you stand right now? I blocked and reported her. You reported her. No, I just blocked her, and I... Uh, you reported the actual group. Hey, group. <laughs> hey, everybody <laughs> hey, outside guys, T-Neck. This Lou. girl's such a bitch. Hey, it's Lou the Pearl. Uh, Why don't you try to fight the guy... Uh, who posted the guy it. who posted it? Do you know where he lives? It's a woman, and uh, it was for her sister. She had a few mutual friends, yeah, but her sister wasn't on there. But why don't you do some investigation now and find out who this motherfucker was? Trying yeah, to let's scam exploit. You. Let's go, go to the top. Her in the snatch. Why don't we do a bonfire investigation? Take right. down this whole ring. Justice. All right. While she sleeps, we'll release cockroaches into her ear with earwax. With, have them coated in earwax. Yeah, we'll shove them in pre, pre-waxed. pre Here's what we'll do. We'll get all our earwax pulled mm-hmm. and then slather these roaches in earwax. Jacob, we're going to have to keep that at your house. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to put that in your refrigerator. We're going to have to keep that in your fridge. Cockroaches in your fridge right now. You know I'm doing a meal plan. Come on. I, uh, <laughs> you know I got my quinoa and lamb <laughs> portions. <laughs> you know I got my portions. I, got my, I have my portion control. So, and then yeah, we'll take her down. I love it. Okay. I love you still want to are you still looking for a Jetta or was it a Jetta because it was a thousand dollars or were you like, finally, <laughs> I don't know a lot about cars. You You're see. like, Oh my God, do I get to keep the pink sunglasses hanging from the rear view mirror? <laughs> Can I keep the class of 2008 forever? Uh, yeah. The scrunchie on the uh, <laughs> steering wheel. Is that? Do I have to wash off the soap that says RIP car mine forever young? <laughs> Let's just let me. Uh, I, I've built this up twice. I have to know what this is. Lou Witzke, what did you respond when I said any? What's what's going on in your love life? 
I uh, what is exactly what did you say? I dated my black Uber driver. You go. I you go. I went out with my Uber driver. Okay. That's exactly what he said. Really? I go, what's up? And he goes, I went out with my Uber driver. And I go, how did that happen? He goes, Salim, 4.97. Mr. Ritsky, I cannot go inside with you. There's this big problem with the Uber. It will not let me. Clean car, go. good conversation. Uh, would you Sick like, tunes. I can give you a mint, maybe <laughs> Purell. Mm, I cannot go inside oh, with you. I can I, get into this. I do not drink. I am Muslim. I cannot go in this. I do not drink alcohol. Shut yes. up. Shut up. He asked him if he wanted to plug in, and he meant his phone. I and cannot. Then they started fucking. Mr. Lou, I cannot talk with you. <laughs> Mr. Lou. You I'm must sorry. understand, my foreskin cannot go over you. <laughs> I'll take you to Avenue Americas, but that is where our relationship ends. Mr. Whiskey, you, um, <laughs> they yell at you to leave the bar. Uh, who was your Uber driver? Uh, just some black chick that picked me up. What's her me. name? So it's You're good, in huh? love with her. I can't give you her name. Okay. Because you don't know it? You just know her first name and how many stars she is? She goes, hey, 4.8, top me off. Oh, it's Karina 4.92. <laughs> I see a picture? Is yes, that what she, I do. Is that what she's in your phone as? Oh, well, he said he was uh, oh, okay. so drunk. He'd, oh, he damn, to be told Lou, this is a black chick for reals, though, huh? I told you. Look at that. She <laughs> says she holds the M on her mm-hms. I mean, yeah. long time. Yeah. Look at that, dude. If you're funny, you're definitely going to be called stupid. She got. She has a 13 year old son that'll whoop your ass, Luke. Oh my so be god! Careful. Kid's built like a fucking Penn State linebacker. Oh, you don't give a fuck, dude. He's angry that his fucking high yellow father moved out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's happening. His with the hot, that lady. His gorgeous light skinned father <laughs> left the family. <laughs> He's just going to whoop your ass. Um, what's her first name? You can't I'm, say I'm that. not telling you. Oh, well, let me look at it. Again. What's her What's her I rating? Say, I won't say it. I promise. Um, What's her star ranking? Can, it rhymes with Shazaronda. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you? Did you? What did you? Did you give her five stars? You had to give her five stars, right? Yeah, I gave her five stars, and I tipped, tip? her, tipped her twenty bucks. Two hey. balls and one fat dick. Hey, did how long did you guys hang out? Did she end the ride and then get out of the Uber and go in with you? I hope she never turned the fucking meter of it off. Dude, Lou goes. He goes you guys are gonna, a great he goes, You guys are gonna shit. Three hundred twenty dollars. Right? <laughs> he goes. Why don't we circle the block and talk a little bit more? And she goes, "All right, your dime, dude." Uh, uh, <laughs> she just goes, "I." And he goes, "You ever listen to Pearl Jam He's live?" Like, and she he, goes, "Do you want? Do you want me to drop you off?" <laughs> He's like, "You might have a smoke back here." And he's just laying down. He goes. <laughs> Wow, you're the only person who understands my day. I swear to God. God, you really are. You know what? You're a 4.8 on the outside and on the inside. You're a good driver for a black chick. Where are you from? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's pretty crazy how we're falling Just keep saying racist things while you're hitting on her. He goes, how'd you pay for this thing, drugs? <laughs> <laughs> how many of the kids' fathers do you still talk to? <laughs> goes, Excuse me? Hey, can you buy me a pack of smokes with your EBT card? I'll wait here. Keep the car running. Keep the meter on. You can say, me and my, bro- me and my brother know of a gas station that takes EBT. <laughs> Down here, to the right, a little bit to the left. You're stay in this lane. Stay in this lane. You know, all my EBT stories, though, in my life are always white garbage people. Yeah. As I make that black joke, it was always, it's always people wh- finding out what uh, little corner stores and smoke shops would take EBT cards. Yeah. So they cannot buy... Stuff for their kids, groceries and, and diapers. Instead, buy fucking cigarettes and like lottery tickets and yeah. shit, Marlboros and uh, fucking natty ice. miles. But then it is you buy the Marlboros, you get the miles, you take the miles, you get clothes. Then, so, your, then your kid's got a kick ass cooler well, for tell, school. Hell yeah! Tell the Christine. Did you, ever school, you ever see Christine's school picture Marlboro dress? <laughs> uh, so, you, <laughs> That'd be fucking great, dude. She had a Marlboro dress, dude. That was always the first, like Tammy Wynette. Is this? I remember like Little League or something where you'd see a kid that have like a fucking. Marlboro bag or something and you'd be like oh man that's hilarious look at all that stuff poor kid we had a lot of Marlboro stuff did in the you house. oh yeah I books, swear to god my thing. dad had a ton of miles and I don't know where they are maybe I'll find it like <sighs> like bullion you don't even know dude you dude, might be Gary, a fucking, you might be a fucking Gary was a pack, small gadgets millionaire dude <laughs> dude Gary was a pack and a half a day Camel cash. I used to do camel cash. You should get cash. something crazy. We just get like you should get like a thousand Swiss Army knives. <laughs> yeah, just all the low. Just ones. Give them out for every camera like John Popper carries around <laughs> harmonicas, dude. Just hey, fucking you want give that? them out. That's mine. Dan Soder, Marlboros, Marlboros, Swiss Armies. I was bang. The pool table would be the ultimate get. Yeah. Yeah, was it nice though? Dude, this girl, was it nice? This girl named Casey that I waited tables with somehow won a contest and got to go to the Marlboro Ranch in Montana. Total say, yeah. Yeah, she didn't even smoke. 
did you, uh, uh, would you rather have had, I had some friends growing up that had shitty fucking pool tables. I'd say no pool shit, table over shitty pool table. We had table. a shitty pool table. You had one? Yeah. Yeah, where it's like. We bought it at the Mile High Flea Market. Like you could definitely kick through the fucking bottom of it. No, no, no. This one was like so old. It was actually not that bad of a pool table. Oh, I don't just, mean shit. I'm talking about one that's like you could feel it's not like real, whatever, the slate underneath or whatever. And you could no, just, we you got just feel all of the slate fucking pool table, but the felt was not good. And it was like. Oh, but you can get that all refixed. That's not, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking, about, I'm talking about like a pool table. Your people tell you to come over. Ugh. And it feels like a poker table. come over like they're telling you to come play pool yeah, it's like at a their pump. house and you get there and it's like, not that it's the wrong game. I'm not even like billiards or anything. I'm talking about just a shitty, like you can kick the legs out by accident and the yeah. whole thing would fold. Yeah. Fuck that. They had one of that in the, uh, my stepdad's dad lived in a trailer park in Vegas and we spent Thanksgiving there and that's how the pool table was in like the fucking rec area there. You're like, oh, I, we could, I could power bomb this kid through this thing. Easy. Yeah, we used but to we sleep. had an old one from the Mile High Flea Market that my mom negotiated down to like 200 bucks. We used to sneak into an old folks home and play. That's pretty great. In their game room. They just thought you were their dead kids coming back to see them? <laughs> no, no one ever bothers. Like when the people would work there, we would just have to say like, you know. Oh, my grandma's sick. Yeah, I'm here. I was, Shirley's my, Shirley's my the grandmother. Guy, Shirley died <laughs> two weeks ago. And you go, I know. Oh my God. Why no, did anyone I, have a meltdown? No. And you go, and then someone goes, Jay, were you stripes or solids? And you go, oh, solids. <laughs> it was solid, and I'm winning. I was solid. I know I knocked it in on the break. Um, Dude, let's watch the Lou. You didn't get us away from this, Lou. We'll I'm also bring so, up the Nate thing. I'm so far away from it. No. You're not far away from it. It happened this weekend. All right, Black Lou, play me some Black Soul. Whoa. Why? You, tr- you prepping? Well, Aren't yeah. you guys going on a date? You guys are going to go on a date. Well, um... You went on one already. I took her to the bar I was going to. She she got off of her Uber, Uber shift. And Clocked she, out? Yeah, yeah she had there's no shift, me. by the way. Yeah, there's no shift manager. It's whenever you turn it on, dude. <laughs> she had a drink with me. She probably could have had an Uber ride on the way home, made some money back. She didn't charge me for the ride home. Oh, uh, whoa. And I got to sit in the front seat. Whoa. Yeah, did you have to suck her dick? <laughs> <laughs> um, but then uh, I went back to the bar a couple days later and asked uh, my friends and the bartender, why was everyone staring at me? And they said, because you brought in that really oversized black chick the other night she big i didn't recall her being big at all <laughs> you, don't you don't recall? recall it's not a fucking i didn't look at her body it wasn't a walk through a misty courtyard <laughs> nothing unusually big you, you know didn't look it, at her body at all I, I don't remember do you just see personality yeah i see things people don't see <laughs> i don't know she carried a conversation how big was she Aww. how big are we talking Aww. not bigger than me i didn't think I'm, than all right me. let me ask you a question is she, is she craig hayward or gilbert brown I don't know who those gentlemen are. We'll bring it up, and we'll see the difference. Craig Hayward, she built like also Vince known Will as Fork? Ironhead. Is she built like Will Fork on the cover of the body issue? Yeah, that could be fun, though. That's like Lizzo big. One guy cruelly referred to this? her as the mom from Good Times. All right, that's really? Craig Hayward, and then bring up uh, Gilbert Brown. how big that fucking chick was? Florida Evans wasn't super big. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's happening? The mom from What's Happening. Oh, mama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mabel. So, yeah. yeah. Is it like Gilbert uh, Brown big? That's what they say. I don't. Is that her? Is that does her? Look she's like, does, it look she, does it look like she runs out of uh, Lou, energy that, quick, or does it look like she could bench a lot? Lou, does it look like that? Like she's coming for your lunch? <laughs> I, I'm sure I would have remembered that. You just kept looking at her head because she was wearing a visor, like this guy. Yeah. Um, you thought she was hot. You liked her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think she was unusually. Fuck big. your Jersey friends. Yeah, Maybe, that's they suck. It. Maybe they're just racists. True. Maybe they're just racists. That would more be sizes. They didn't seem to mention anything about her being black. They were saying about her being fat. One guy called her Aunt Jemima. Yeah, that oh, that's racist. Know. That's racist. Right, right, right. That's funny, though. <laughs> I didn't find Did she funny. also like Aunt Jemima? I don't know. I don't know, but the shows a couple pancake jokes. Next time she goes back to the bar with you, she, she's going to be wearing a bandana, and you have to make a decision whether you tell her or not. He goes, this is not going to help your cause at this bar. He puts it in park, and he goes, I got to tell you what they said. <laughs> he goes. Then someone comes as soon as they walk in. He goes, "Oh, let me get some chairs for you and your girlfriend here, Lou." And then they grab like a stool for each one of her butt cheeks. Yeah. Here, I can't afford to lose one, so I'd rather use two. <laughs> I'll give up the business. So I don't, I'm going on a date with her. I'll let you know um, next week. I mean, that's pretty impressive to pull the Uber driver. Yeah, unprecedented. I've never done it. Did you black chick? Is this first black chick for you? No. Mm, shut up, Jacob. Uh, not really. 
I mean, I always try. I think black <laughs> chicks dig What me. happened to the last black chick? Did it go down? Oh, she's uh, she's away. She'll be back next week. That's two black chicks. You gonna give that? Up. Is that not over yet? No, it's not over. It's still Can we ongoing. say what you did? Can we say what you did for that one? What did I do? Come on, what you ran out and did hilariously for the last black chick? I don't recall. You don't recall going to a fucking place Clinic? and getting a goddamn blood uh, test? Oh, well, we already talked about that. Yeah. No, did we talk about it on the show? Yeah, think. we never talked about it on the show. We did because I said I didn't like my results. Oh, 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 yeah. we did loosely talk about, right, the thing you got back. But I just didn't know how to read it. I'm but but, but you, did you get it for nothing, though? Did you get to fucking dip your stick, dude, after all that? We only had two dates. Well, we'll see what happens on the third. I don't know. So why'd you have to get a blood test so fast? Yeah. For a straw, to drink out of the same straw. Wait, yes. what? <laughs> yes, yeah, thank the girl you. Said your straw, drink... There's no amount of blood tests <laughs> that's going to get her to put her lips around your fucking dick, dude. There's no chance. <laughs> really? Damn. Yes. Yeah, you got to give up on that one. Yeah. Well, at least if I, I lick your butthole, I'll lick your straw. For sure. In fact, if I lick Dan's butthole, I'm licking your straw right afterwards. How Black many women. girls do you have set up on a date at any given time? Uh, How many dates are in the calendar right now? I'm kind of seeing someone right now, and she might be listening. So, <laughs> from, well, from I mean, Bumble? From Bumble? Originally okay. from Bumble, but we've uh, we've been nonstop for a couple well, weeks now. It's not my fault you're a horn dog. I didn't know you were. Wait, is the one I met? No, which one did you meet? The one that came to the show. Oh, uh, well, the FBI agent? No. 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 She's an FBI agent? You can put the feds after us? She came to Jersey. Oh, no, no, no. That one, was a, that one wasn't that one was even real, a real date. That wasn't a Bumble date. That was just a friend. Okay. So, so it's a new so one you're, you're seeing. seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing. What's she look like? She's tall, drink of water. Yeah. yeah. Taller than you? Because uh, she dunk on you? She can. She, she loves hoops. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Just watch it. Lou, it, she has a weird fetish where Lou has to get dunked on. She's like, let me poster you. Can again. you go down on her standing up? How tall is she? I can. She's uh, nice. six one. I'm about <laughs> six and and shrinking. She's six one. Yeah. She's tall. Oh. Does she wear heels ever? Uh, she wears boots and it is a mismatch. I Does she wear it. a lot of scarves inside? <laughs> yeah, tall broads love scarves. Do you see a lot of duct tape around her house? <laughs> Does she piss in a urinal? Lou, is this the mom? Does she pee standing up? Yeah, she's a mom. I should stop oh, talking. I know who it is. What's wrong? Do you drive her to an electrolysis appointments for her face? She was a lover, stay in the car. <laughs> Do you share shoes? <laughs> <laughs> is, she a size, is she a size 12 triple E? She goes, hey, lover, uh, check the jackets. I think you might have a leather coat that I have. Hey, try that on. Lou goes, wow, that really does feel like gangbusters. Is this yogurt on my sheets? Can I wear yeah, your my cum. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wear your boxer briefs today? I'm out. <laughs> uh, dude, if she's listening. How'd you do on your first date? We're teasing. We don't know her. Uh, Jacob, she's listening. I'm not going to get into oh, your sex. Right. You can't say where you went on the first date. Jacob's alluding that we had sex on the first date, which we fucking did. did. Where'd you go on your first date? He knew that until you. You just said up. you did. Can we go back to talking about my black women? <laughs> he said, "Where did you go? <laughs> How is that okay?" But you, you're talking about. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. Yeah, 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 immortal about, words of Jacob Patai. Did, did I have to make my love into a comedy bit? Did you feel like I cornered him? Yeah. You have to make my love into a comedy bit. Am I not listening? What was the question you asked? I think I said, "What did you do that?" Yeah, I thought he said that too. What? did you do on the first date? <laughs> we humped, we parked, we parked. <laughs> no one, is that it? I promise right now, I will never commit a crime with Lewitsky. <laughs> yeah, no shit, If man. he gets first 48 and he is folding in fucking 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, Lou, I hope you at least wait until they offer to go get you food or something he goes, first. Hey, man, can I get you like a cherry Coke or something? I did it! I fucking <laughs> blew his goddamn <laughs> ass. Lou, you could have got a fucking, fucking Peter Luger's yeah, dinner out of him. He fucking did it. I know the whole operation top God to damn bottom. It. Inside and out. What do you I'm want yellow. The pe- I'm yellow. Uh, I fucking, I'm fucking, si- I'm Kaiser. So Here's the pecking order. All right. Oh, I did it. Uh, I was Gutierrez, Gutierrez is the guy that makes the drop. There's a guy that you can see pretty high up on fucking Border Patrol that works the receiving end of it. I, I just I rub my eyebrow. He says Northwell. Northwell. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do what? on your first date? Big and tall man shop. Before you fucked. Uh, we went out to a bar. Yeah. Yeah? What kind of bar? A uh, local joint that my friend owned. Dun, 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 Is she dun, really dun, listening? Dun, dun, dun. Sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she doesn't. She's, uh, does she listen more she than works? she doesn't, or does she do, does she not listen more than she listens? They don't let her listen. They don't let her listen to the warehouse where she's a forklift operator. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> 
beep, beep. <laughs> and hey, your boyfriend's talking about you on her. Who is? Huh? Now that he goes, you Murphy, give me a Winston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that son of a bitch. Now that you already said you did it with her, which the... When you were, she who, calls you whose a, house by, did you go home to? By the way, she calls you a tall drink of water. Also, <laughs> oh, sure. this guy I'm dating, it's a real tall drink of she water. Want to see this piece that I'm slamming? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look at that right there. She goes, oh my God, looks like Edward Furlong. Am I right? Am I right? I'm making him call me the Terminator. Look how pink it is. Yeah. Look, it's all pink. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, I call him my pork. Oh, <laughs> look how pink it is. Oh, <laughs> the other white meat, right? And they go, oh. Looks like seared tuna. <laughs> Donna, you're bad. <laughs> oh, you're a bad bitch. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> seared tuna. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. So does she not listen more than she listens? She not listens more than she listens. Then we're fine. Yeah, we're okay. So Lou, yeah. since the last commercial break's already been dumped. Yeah, the, the, I, the girl was listening. <laughs> Turns out she listens a lot more than she doesn't listen. And uh, she heard everything. She's but, not for you, Lou. But you said all the things she's angry about, Lou, are things Jacob, you... thank uh, you. Are things you aggressively blurted <laughs> out upon no... Uh, <laughs> No product. I told Jacob, Jacob hand me a cup of coffee. I'm like, give me a kiss. Like that. And he just did a thing when he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lou, you're fucking. Lou, there was no prodding. We go, what did you do on your first date? You went, what do you want to hear? We fucked because we did. <laughs> All right, we porked. We but slammed. Also, sure. Oh, he let he let Jacob get to him because Jacob simply asked, he goes, where's your guy start on your first date? And he goes, what do you want me to say, Jacob, that we fucked? Is that what we did? <laughs> but that's not. But that's not what Lou got in trouble for, Lou. What did you get in trouble for? She thinks I'm still on Bumble because you I'm talking are about... You Yeah. Because why? Because I'm talking about my black Bumbles. No, but tell her that the black girls never show up. She's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's just a little radio thing. Yeah, it's just a sketch. Is she black? No, she just plays basketball. Oh. Oh, so she doesn't like black chicks. Oh, she doesn't like naturally. it. She's got to be the gritted out white She's center. always got to be a center. Yeah, right? <laughs> She's got to be some fucking sharp elbows down in the paint. What's her handle like? Junk? Yeah. Is she a perimeter player? What's her handle? How's her handle? I don't know that term. Basketball. Wow. Then why are you wasting time with a girl who doesn't think you're funny Listen, and she plays needs, a sport you don't She understand. needs a Jesus Shuttlesworth. And I, know you what a need... pick, I know what a pick and roll is. I don't know. Well, what is, right, what, what's what's a pick yeah, and roll? That what one, is it? Yeah, what is it? You give the ball, then you roll off, and then you get the ball back, and then you score. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, all right, I fucked her. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm into some weird shit, all right? I got to get choked. And did you what do you want to know? If I came on her face? Yeah, she asked for it. She's a whore. I go, you happy? Yeah. That's I what go. you need? That's what you need to hear from me? Yeah. Yeah. Does she? Does I asked you what she looks like. She's six foot one, and she loves cock. Is that what you need? Is I'm just from? the flavor of the week, probably, because she likes big, big things all the time. You want to break me down? All right, I'm afraid. First time of my life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Where does she live, Lou? All right, I'll say it. She killed a man when she was 17. I like Lou. Lou, by the way, communicates like Bumblebee, the Transformer. Yeah. <laughs> communicates solely through fucking... Is she a cool girl? He goes, what, she had six abortions? You're going to judge her by that only? <laughs> no. Did you don't have to tell us that. She asked me to use a car so she could hide a dead body. We went out to the yeah. desert. What do you want me to say? We had sex. I tried to use a condom. She told me only fags use condoms. <laughs> She told me to spit on it, and I just asked her how her dinner was. <laughs> she asked me to shit on her. <laughs> you uh, can't win! <laughs> did she break up with you? Just now? Uh, I can't see it continuing. Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> what are the complaints she said? <clears throat> I'm not going to read her text, but she's like, I thought we were exclusive. You're still on Bumble. But you said I'm seeing someone exclusively. You, you did that. say that. Oh, well, Jeez. good for me then. But yeah. she just said that you're on because you're the black Talking chicks. About but those Bumble are black chicks. I don't know if she understands the show or is taking it literally. I'll tell you what, Lou. I'm just going to tell you, bro to bro here, this girl ain't right for you if she's got upset about any of this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I can see if you're dating a guy and you're listening to a Shut show. Shut the fuck up, Christine. You know, if you're dating a guy and you're listening Christine, to a please, show Christine, and you Christine, think I'm you're exclusive and then you're like, oh, I'm still on Christine, please. Bumble, I could see the girl like being Christine, like, just oh. for my friends, please. Yeah. Can you please let me see my guy have some authority for my friends, please? <laughs> Christine, shut the fuck up. I'm talking to Lou about bitches. Sorry, Jay. <sighs> I, I feel like you were very respectful. You're like, I'm seeing somebody. Right. I feel, I feel, right? I feel like you're a pussy magnet. Tell her it's not your fault if it's raining pussy on you, Lou. Yeah, tell her. Listen, You're the fucking you, mix master of the bonfire. Go, yeah, just be like, listen, I got to swim in the ocean of puss. All right, boys, night out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Christine does make a good point if she's just listening and you're like, yeah, so I'm on Bumble. She's like, what the fuck, dude? It's Black Bumble. What's Black Bumble called? Mm-mm, bees. Mm -mm. If I was listening to Jay's radio appearance and he started talking about how he was Tindering, I'd be like, you're, on, you're just on Tinder now? <laughs> like, <laughs> I wish I could check that. But she met you on Bumble. 
Right, but we we made a, a choice to not uh, to see each other exclusively. But didn't you just say you said two weeks ago this became official? We've been seeing each other for two weeks. Okay. And it's especially exclusive. I mean, I'm still on Who there. asked to be exclusive, though? It was my romantic idea. I knew it. After I two knew weeks? Ah. I know Lou, did you man. Pay, did, you, did you offer to pay for her school? Did you send an Uber to pick her up? <laughs> did you ever see... That's where you fucked up, son. That's where you don't fuck up. Cool. Let me tell you why I love the kinship I feel to Lewitsky. <laughs> did you ever see the Rick and Morty when they go in the machine... And it's supposed to, at the spa, and it's supposed yeah, to take all the shitty, the the shitty Rick. And then it turns out their toxins are actually them. Yeah. Like the people they are is not real. Lose my toxins trucked into the thing. I get all of his insecurity and weirdness, but there's no reason for you to have decided to make it exclusive that quick. There's That's no how I reason. operate. And lose, like, oh man, like this girl yeah. did fuck. We fucked on the first date. I'd like to continue to fuck. I'm not saying this is not a lovely woman. No, no, in no. real talk, she might be fantastic. She I'm just saying, in two weeks, on motherfuckers. to to to, th to lock it all down that fast is certainly a hasty move, based in uh, rooted in uh, yeah. what do you call that? Like okay. lack of confidence, which I fully, fully sympathize. But you do, for. but you do well. But it's also age. Man, I don't have a lot of time left, and also you like life. <laughs> yeah, in life, sure. <laughs> what are you talking about, you're 41. You got to grab. I'm not 41. I'm 44. Oh shit! You're oh right. shit, man! No, yeah, you, better, right. you better apologize to this better bitch be. right now. Oh my yeah, god! You better make amends right now. I hope she takes you. Yeah. Take him when I can. Call her dad. You take a break. Call her dad. And see if you can take her hand. Dude, I'll fly you out there right now. Jane, I'll rent you a helicopter. Right. Pick yeah. us up on the roof. Can I ask how old is her kid? And do you see yourself Jacob, as a stepdad? She's listening. I can't. Uh, how would you do? You I'm feel as with, being a stepdad? I'm good with children, Jacob. I Little known fact. Man, you know what? I didn't see this. Probably. He always uses condoms. Yeah. He, uh, oh, you're low brow to Jason. You do buy him ice cream afterwards. Like, a lot of people don't actually come through with that. J do you... I think Lou would be a I good step I feel he got angry at me, too. Like, I never... I don't know that... I thought you wouldn't... I didn't think you would be a bad dad to a kid. No, I just got mad at... I'm not mad at you. I just don't want to... Fuck this up anymore by mentioning. Gotcha. You don't want to kid. damage the situation anymore by adding too many I've personal. Never, no one's ever allowed me to meet their kid before. I'd like to meet this I'm, one. Okay. <laughs> or should they? That's right. so. Yeah. What the fuck are you gonna do with this kid? I, it's so I, funny. I he goes, appreciate <laughs> your vulnerability right now. Lou's dating a girl, and he's like, finally, he goes. I would really like to meet Mitch, and she goes. I found a little something called bonfire. <laughs> You're out. Hey, bunny, I want to take you and your kid to back of bar Thanksgiving. Goes, Do you guys want to watch her fight to the death? <laughs> you guys want to watch my mom rip through a whole pack of Winston's? Uh, uh, were you? Do you feel like you were close to meeting the kid? Uh, yeah, up until today. Oh, yeah. So this you episode... have to go, hey, Stu, watch the kid while I pork this chick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, look, I doubled myself. So, you can't... <laughs> so now I'm going to watch you. <laughs> Take double me. He's going to tell you the trick. Yeah. If you chew double mint gum, this is what happens. He just tells his kid lies. You break off. He goes, How does that work exactly? He goes, it's a lot of like electrons and protons and stuff. I can't really get into it. There's a right three now. month cocoon process. It's like a whole hibernation thing. I All can't right. really get into it. Me that. and your mom are going to go to Tickle Fight Loud. <laughs> But I thought there was a chance we were going to go back and meet Gary Clark Jr. after the show. It's pretty badass. And uh, what was your plan, Lou, to be that hammered? Well, I was not that hammered. I mean, you Dude, heard me. Dude, you were hilariously hammered. Really? By the way, I just Christine's dude uh, was, was the most serious I've ever been, seen Christine on this show. Do you remember who you were sitting next to and how you made it nice and weird with them? No, I didn't make it nice and weird. I mean, I talked to them. <laughs> Who did Lou sit next to? You did to? talk to Robin Quivers. <laughs> For the younger listeners, that's Howard Stern's co-host of 40 let, years. Let her know that he worked at Sirius also. <laughs> oh, Lou! So what's wrong with that? Lou! You were hammered. Because you did it as you were climbing over. Five times hey, that hey. pile. Oh, wow. You look a lot like that lady Robin on Howard. Uh -huh. She's like, I am. He goes, I work at Sirius. I don't I never met Holy you. shit. You don't look like you. From yeah. The thing. Speaking of... Uh, of things over the weekend that I heard before we get to to Black Lou's whole story of where he <laughs> where he almost got murdered by his family <laughs> when they fed him for Labor Day and then released him in the woods and tried they to go Lou. Him. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with the Ice Tea Classic surviving the game, but this right here is a fucking money belt. We're putting it around you. It's got ten thousand dollars in it. We're gonna hunt you. If you survive, you keep the money. 
You got to understand your fucking cocksucker. You need somebody to interpret. We're going to fucking throw you out in the woods in the Berkshires. Fucking good luck. Here's something I found out this weekend that, and I told you about this, Dan, but I'm so excited to tell uh, DJ Lou about this. And uh, Jacob was a big part of this decision, and I love him for it because he had some really great key ideas for this. <laughs> oh. DJ Lou is... Uh, Wants to be a DJ, TJ. I know that in his heart. Lou, you're talking He's about got, DJ Lewitsky. TJ Lewitsky has DJ dreams. White Lou. Yeah. White Lou. <laughs> He's got crazy hey. DJ dreams, lofty expectations. Uh, uh, Mike, intern Mike from uh, Legion of Skanks, yeah. said they're talking about possibly doing some, going somewhere to do some gigs there. So I say, if Lou wants to be a DJ so bad, we have to, we're going to make him his own DJ helmet. Like yeah. like Dead Mouse, DJ Dead Rat, yeah. we're gonna call Lou, <laughs> DJ Dead Rat, and in my yeah. mind, I've pictured a thing that's gonna be so obnoxiously big, and I was looking for like a really awesome, like just crystally blinky disco ball fun uh, DJ helmet, but uh, Jacob thought that it'd be funnier if we decorated it ourselves. And <laughs> one thousand percent. If we decorate, if we decorate it ourselves, and then always when it's when he wears it, it's also has to be plugged in by a giant industrial orange uh, <laughs> extension cord, because we have to always keep him plugged into the wall, and it's gonna one thousand percent. How do you feel, uh, DJ I, Lou? How do you feel about wearing a like old, um, like an old dirt bike helmet, like the kind that Johnny Lawrence wore in Karate Kid? Uh, it's okay. I don't, I don't want to be a DJ. He's missing the point, though. Huh? All, all these campers keep coming at me asking me if I could DJ their weddings. Yeah, you like, should do it. I don't have the. I have a partner, but we're not. Uh, Fire your partner. There you go. You're just gonna take off by yourself. I'm telling you how. He has all the Black Lou, by the way, is nodding right next to me. He has all the equipment. This is the world, dude. This is EDM. I'm gonna be a guy with a with a helmet and no equipment on a bus. Like I don't. Oh, I can't go dude. on a road trip. I just Perfect. Had a PC racing helmet with a mohawk on it, dude. But it's got to have giant ears. <laughs> no matter, we'll glue those. Whatever it's going to have gigantic styrofoam ears, if nothing else. Yeah. Jay, I'm and, if, and I want to have there. shoulder harnesses. <laughs> oh, like a halo when you break your neck. Like when you break like a break your neck halo. I want to have those like shoulder things, so it doesn't weigh on them. But it's going to be obnoxiously large. And all live events, DJ Lou is going to be DJ, DJ right. Dead Rat. When's our next one? The Underground uh, in a couple months or so? I think so, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll figure something out. I'll do it for that. For, yeah. yeah, for New York uh, Comedy uh, Fest. Right. And at least one or two shows when we have it presented to you. Sure. It sounds fun to sweat in a helmet. And... I think this thing might have an air conditioning system in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I found out uh, when I was younger and did that job of going to kids' birthday parties as characters, I found out when you do have good costumes, they do have, like, some kind of cooling system in them. It's really? Like a one. fan system? Okay. I'll do uh, it. No. I, I think the motorcycle helmet's not going to work, Dan. I'm looking at him. With the, I like the mohawk thing. Oh, uh, just the mohawk. Yeah. That's just to buy the mohawk. Oh, we could put a mohawk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You yeah. don't think a dirt bike thing would work? You want to do? It's got to be a different kind of helmet, or maybe it's a different kind of helmet. I'm gonna need lighting too. Oh, buddy, we've we got this Christmas lights out. like a motherfucker. Huh? We're gonna uh, okay. make this thing crazy lit up. It's gonna be obnoxious how lit up it is. All right, it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a goddamn great. spectacle during our live shows, like an ordeal almost. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to announce that. And that uh, next time you see DJ Lewis. And by the way, we're taking uh, anybody have any ideas on how we can make this helmet or anybody wanna, oh, yeah, we want to send a helmet? <laughs> yeah. If somebody yeah, thinks they can camera. manufacture this helmet, by all means, let us know. I do have two strands of leftover LED lights <coughs> from Dave's special. Yeah. Start there. For what? I have the LED lights from Dave's special. Oh, Those yeah? Strings. Mm -hmm. All right. Guess what? We've already got two icicles of lights coming off Lou's helmet. Okay. So what do you yes. got? Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll give him dreads like the old Slipknot mask. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> like it'll also have dreads coming out of it. Yeah, we can really have fun with this thing, everybody. Whatever you think. We're all going to, as a group, uh, including you, the campers, build DJ Lou's helmet. Uh, maybe we have a woodworker out there or something that wants to help out with this, but we can do it. It's going to be like Daft Punk, yes, except 
Just Lou. <laughs> oh, it's either yeah. Daft or Punk. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. I'm excited for DJ Dead Rat's he- helmet. <laughs> DJ Dead Rat. And Lou, whoever this partner can we get something is. Where there's like a, can we have like a cigarette clip on it where he can like put a cigarette? Yes, yes. absolutely. Lou, the last thing you're going to need is a partner. And I promise you this helmet's going to be so intense, the last thing you're going to need is actual DJ equipment. You're not yeah. even... You become the whole show, buddy. <laughs> it's you. And then we'll get DJ equipment. You know, it's like if you build it, they will come sort of thing. Okay, I thought you were talking about real DJ. Yes, I'm talking about real DJ. No, I'm saying, DJ Lou, we have a two, a, a 2020 deadline for you being at Bonnaroo, headlining the next yeah! stage. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man, I would love to do much. Mushrooms on side stage as DJ Lou rips it the fucking old dirt bike helmet. Just dancing, uh, spinning an imaginary ball oh, like, doesn't exist. Oh, they're like, what? Is Dan, is Dan a body glitter and angel wings on? <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking DJ Dead Rats on in a half hour. <laughs> hey, I, I'm actually friends with them. I know his real name. It's Lou Witzke. Lou Witzke? That name yeah. sounds so Polish. I don't know, but I love your tassels on your boots. Is your <laughs> pussy lip hanging out of your daisy dudes? Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's spinning right now. Oh, I'm wait. Hey, throw this up. My, oh, this is my song. I really vibe hard to this one. Hey, Jay, I think my core is overheating. I need another bottle of water. I did a lot of Molly. Jay, touch my face. My life. Wait, you're Dan. Whoa. Wow. Hey, Jay, I'm having a pretty intense flashback of getting boo food by Gus. <laughs> you want to walk me through this bad trip? <laughs> I need to be reborn again. It's lit. Ah, bombums. <laughs> oh. oh, salmon BLT. Bombums. Salmon BLT. Salmon oh, dude. BLT. How about, what if we... What if we named ourselves uh, as a DJ named Roman Sierra? <laughs> Roman Sierra? Oh. That could be one of those AKAs. Dude, but we just put Roman and Sierra clips under music like this, where it's like, uh, oh, do, do a couple of it. Hit it, DJ Lou. Bombums. Woo. It works. Yeah. It yeah, works. Want, baby girl. Oh, whatever you want, baby girl. That's the first single. Even Pete Wentz, even Pete Wentz will dance to this. Because uh, there's literally nobody more synonymous with dance than Pete Wentz. Please go to commercial. <laughs> I want to die. I want to just crawl into a ball and die. <laughs> Oh. Oh, Roman why would Sierra. this not why would this not be happening at a Bonnaroo? <laughs> at least the electric daisy carnival shenanigans, whatever that thing yeah. is called. Oh dude. Oh, look at the fun shit. Ah. Is that the red? Dick? Oh you dig? <laughs> Dude, we just had the birth of Roman Sierra, the top dance DJ. I think it could definitely get booked somewhere. Oh! oh shit. Well, we already got a start, buddy. What? You see this? Did you... Yeah, I see it. Where did you get that, Black Lou? Holy shit. Where's it from, Black Lou? Uh, I have a buddy of mine who makes them. Really? Helmets? Go put three lights, four lights, whatever you want. Oh, oh my god. Oh, four light helmet lights? and some mouse ears. All right, so we start with a mohawk of lights. That's phase one. And then we got to put ears on the side. I want it to also have ears. That's yes, important absolutely. to me. Absolutely. <laughs> important to me that it has giant ears. Bigger than dead mouses. Let me see a picture of dead mouse. I want dead mouse. Bigger than dead mouse's ears. Because they're rat ears also. I want them like almost more on the side. <laughs> like it's more uh, shitty. And they have that, yeah, just like gross, worn down hair. <laughs> yeah. Mange. You can buy DJ helmets. Can you? Yes. There's a thing called buying a DJ helmet? A DJ sauna helmet. Christine just sent me the link. Where is that a thing? DJ helmets? That's what I had up on the screen. Where? I didn't see that at all. The mohawk things? No, please. Just different DJ helmets. Oh, no, but those are like Daft Punk's like helmets. Yeah, we should get a crusty one. Yeah, those are just like, yeah. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I mean, this one's going to be... I want this one to be like over the top, obnoxiously large. I want ours to make really... Daft Punk like a bunch of... So we have to, like, glue ears onto the helmet and then wrap those... I don't know how we do it. I'm not a woodworker. (laughs) I don't know. I'm not an Italian uh, helmet smith. I'm telling you, have we figured out? Somebody might know how to melt plastic or make... There's people out there who know how to do this stuff. I want... all want All we need is a base. We need a base. We need the helmet with ridiculous sized ears on it. And we can make this work. Also, can we get a rat tail on the helmet? <laughs> Absolutely. We can get a rat tail. That's Which for sure. we got to make it white trash as, as possible. Yes. It's for DJ our Dead Rat. Sake. DJ Dead Rat. Yeah. I think we should call him DJ Single Wide. <laughs> or should we call DJ him... Food D- or should we do him a DJ Coma Rat? Like he's not dead? Oh, Instead of Dead yeah. Mouse, he's a rat in a coma? DJ Paralyzed Rat? <laughs> DJ, DJ Quad Rat? DJ Quadrat. <laughs> oh, oh, Dead Mouse has some good. We're competing with a lot. DJ Dead Mouse has a lot of cool stuff we're competing with, but we can do it. I think we can. We can beat DJ Dead Mouse for sure. Blue, you'll be making so much more money than DJ Dead Mouse. It's going to be happen so quick. Oh, I can't wait. I'll tell you what he doesn't have. Uh, the the kind of pizzazz we have behind this. He's just a guy who's hiding behind a helmet. We're pulling the curtain. We're letting you know it's DJ Lou in there. Right. But when that helmet yeah. goes on, buddy, you become a different person. You're like when Stallone turns the hat around and over the top. Oh, yeah, I'm hiding it's, behind the helmet for sure. It's time to kick I in the just, hot uh, Lou, Lou's just ripping a Marlboro light behind the Bonnaroo stage, and he goes, I put on that helmet. It's like a light switch. <laughs> <laughs> and I get turned on. <laughs> And then the girl, and then the whatever girl, whatever jersey trash he's brought with him on his tour bus is like, wait, is that when I plug in the extension cord? <laughs> just, yes, Doris. That's when you plug in the goes, extension cord. Jesus. Okay. H. But I still get a, I still get a free beer, right? <laughs> hey, Lou, I'm out of drink, drink, drink tickets. Can you talk to the bartender for me? I found Hey, do these bracelets, do these bracelets get me out of being arrested? Oh, no. hang on, dude! Someone, there's a there's a website that makes custom uh, dead mouse heads. Oh, we just need a basic. All we need is a plain basic one, and then we're gonna Make build. My we're, mouse. we're gonna build it like we're putting <laughs> together like the like we're making the giant bicycle for the retarded girl in the neighborhood. We're gonna all and we have together. Yeah, and we could. Um, Make my mouse. It's called make my mouse dot u dot co dot uk. But I feel like it, this, you're right. It does need to be a collaborative effort with the campers. I, as far as I, well, all I want is to see a rat tail on the rat head. Oh, uh, did they not send to America? I think we it's got better. It. Okay, head color: black, gray, white, blue, navy, purple, pink, green, yellow, orange, or red. Yes. Fuck. We're just getting a quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, probably, right? Do we start with black? No, it's probably we start with white, right? We add our own colors and lights and blinkies. What do you think, Jacob? I like the bold of red for Lou. Yeah, you're right. Black, he'll like it. He'll yeah, like it. you're absolutely right. Oh, you don't want me to like it? We got to go big with it. I do want you to like no, it. I want you to like it, but you, you know. still want to torture me. Yeah. DJ Blue. Uh. Oh, the e- oh, that's the head color, the ear, mouth, and eye colors all can be different. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, yes. here's my issue. Here's my issue about getting a quote here. You're wasting our time with this right now. Uh, I don't think I want Lou to be. I want Lou's face to be <laughs> accessible in this. I want. What Lou's if we face take the up. face off? Oh, oh, no one's ever thought of that before. <laughs> Let's think about it. It's no. Now we're back to people that work with plastics. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a big, we're big in the plastic workers community. So good news, Christine. I, I, I can smell the sarcasm in your voice, but there's a lot of uh, plastic workers out there who listen to the show. You think they don't, you think they're plastic workers and they can't afford Sirius XM? No, I think those plastic really workers should just put ears like on our mask. People at what? I think those plastic workers should just put ears on the mask we already had that doesn't have a face. The one that's here? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have we might need more lights on it though. Like we might need more of those spinning <laughs> spinning <laughs> cop lights on it. I'd also like to have red and, red and blue cop lights on it. So yeah, yeah, I think Lou's guy and Lou's guy. 
Black Lou's guy might have a guy who could do ears, honestly. Because we do. We, we want ears with the face showing. So so we don't even want to quote because this has a fan cooling system. Ooh, that's Eye great. lights. Custom text. A hole for smoking out of. Oh, uh, you know what? All right, you're right. Yeah, I do. you're I right. Do. Now I do want to see the. I, I do want to see custom text. Jesus, this could get real good. Eye lights and color changing LEDs. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, put a cooling system in and custom text. Ah, fuck. All right, let's get the quote. We need to pick the other colors. All right, ear color for Lou. I'd say he's, it's a red helmet. Do we make the? Do we just go wacky with this thing? Make it purple? Dan, you pick the mouth now. Yes. But I can't see it because you guys are picking it. There's no way to see it. There's nothing to see. It's all text. Um, There's no picture of it. So for the mouth. Oh, this is so hard. Mouth color. Yellow. Yeah, yellow. I hear I heard a suggestion from one Isabella for a yellow, and I'm down with that. Yellow mouth on red. On the red thing? I think it Hulk like, Hulk, that's Hulkster, buddy. Yeah. That's Mega Powers. Looks like Shazam. Red, purple, yeah. and yellow. This is getting a little gay pride-ish. And I would say, here's yes, what I would say. Yes, it is, honey. And I would make the eyes white. The eye color, I'd make white so we could do what we want to the eyes. Yes. It would cut them out so we could see blue. All yes, right. honey, bunny. All right, we're going to get a quote. We're going to find out. DJ Lou, are you not going to take this gig? I'm not a performer. Get the fuck out of here. You're not going to take this. Not, you don't have to perform. The, 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 the fucking helmet does the performing, man. <laughs> I know, but I, first of all, I can't DJ with that helmet on. And second of all, I How can't DJ. Lou? It's a Lou. playlist. That, You're Lou. DJ Lou. Calm down, Lou. Take all that Jersey anger and all push right, it down. Everyone back away from their microphones. Everyone. They include Let me you, give you, Jay. A little bit of, and let you, Dan. give you a little bit of... Hey, I'm trying to tell you something, bro. I know, but you're distorting. Okay. Sorry. Um... Oh, because I'm repeating everything I say. <laughs> That's awesome. I could hear myself say just, everything I just said. Did you throw them in a can? Or? Fucking nuts. Um, I didn't do that. Lou, you don't have to perform. Here's what we do. We make the helmet. You put together the playlist. Yeah. We put Jacob in the helmet. Mm -hmm. No one knows. Fuck yeah. No, I don't like this. I want Lou out there. Shirtless Jacob in no. a blue helmet? What I think now is Jacob, silk shirt wide open, but no shirt underneath, big chain. Big chain, black pants, and he's dancing alongside the whole time that Lou plays. Ah, you're talking about he's the hype. Rat he's the hype man. He's a rat pellet. Yeah, yeah. He's the hype guy, though. He does all hype. Oh, I kind of like this idea. It's fantastic. Lou, how easy would it put it together, put it in a, uh, together a set list? That's all they do. Dude, all you do is put house music with Roman and Sierra over it. Get yeah, dude, DJ it with, like, our shit. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I know, but what if the crowd doesn't know our shit? These 3,000 people, what if they don't get our, my stupid well, uh, I'll tell you this, they're going to learn who DJ Watergate is, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fan. <laughs> you do DJ Watergate, you do a set of Roman and Sierra... I'll be honest, Lou. If, if, Over the chain smokers? If every, dude, you'll if, fucking... If every hour you play that uh, win, win, win song, you're, the crowd will be happy. I promise you. People are dumb. If you What if is you it, what is the DJ? What, what's, the, what's the event? Go ahead, Jacob. My manager. It's the uh, Newport. Newport Film Festival. Newport's nice. Newport, California? Newport Beach Newport Film Beach. Festival. Hold on. Nice place. Newport right Beach here. Festival is even more fun, especially when all you do is... <laughs> DJ Christine was a little late. We would love to book DJ Lou, a.k.a. DJ Dedrat, for opening night at the Newport Beach Film Festival on April 26th, 2018. Dude, it's California Film Festival. What's Who's the most going to be there? A bunch of celebrities? They're not going to get my jokes, though. I mean, my buttons. What? They're not going to get my bombums. They're not going to get any of this. Bombums. Of course. It doesn't, bombums. Ma it doesn't matter. That's your shit. I know, but if they're not campers, they're, they're going to be like, uh, why does this guy think he's lit? It's lit. Because, <laughs> it's lit. because while you're playing those, you're going to be playing DJ Khaled songs. <laughs> All I do is win, 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 win. Do it, win, win, win. Oh, oh there it is. Got money on my bombums. Bomb Ooh. Yeah. Woo! Have Jacob. Oh! Where's Jacob seeing fucking faggots? <laughs> that's my uh, that's my logo. You want to hear it? Oh wait, do that again. Play that again. I love that. 
dead rat. Do it, we, we, we. Don't tell me you don't DJ. <laughs> uh, I know. I, I could do it in the room, but I'm going to freeze up. Why? No, you're not. Not with Jacob Lou. on stage in the mask. All Lou, right. You, Lou, you don't understand. You make the whole mix at home. Like then you just go, dude? you wear the helmet, you let the helmet do the work, man. <laughs> dude. Jacob goes and plugs you in. Jacob goes, he guys ready to party? He goes, this is side mouse. I'm, <laughs> he goes, he goes, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know me. <laughs> But if you know who I am and you love cheese, get your motherfucking hands in the air and maybe we can get him out of his hole. I think if everybody in the room chants cheese with me, we can cheese. make it happen. Cheese. 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 cheese, cheese, cheese. If you cheese, if you believe you can cheese, <laughs> DJ did that. Do it win, 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 no matter what. God damn, we got to get that edit right, sir, because that song is going to get so annoying on this show, because gonna, we're going to fucking overplay the shit out. And by the way, every time it goes, we have to let it go until they go, uh, and, and the hands go up, and they stay there, and they stay there. it's got to go through the whole time. He goes, well, me, he goes, oh, well, my record uh, right now against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals is uh, I'm actually 3-1. and one. I'm getting ready to take the series, honestly, because if I'm being honest... Ah. It doesn't. It, it, by the way, you feel like a real jag off when there's any amount of seconds between you saying it or not. Oh, it's so those are cool. lonely it's moments. So cool if it hits, when it doesn't hit, I'm just staring at you. I'm like, this would be so cool if it wasn't dead silence right now. It was going to have a goddamn talk. I feel like this is Lou getting us back for this whole dead rat well, thing. Well, no, you don't understand. I'm, I'm using Christine, and now I'm going to use Black Lou. And I'm... Oh, all right. Why? What do you mean for your DJ gig? No, just for the all I do is win drop. Oh, okay. Uh, D oh, uh, DJ Black Lou's going to fix it? Yep. Let's see. <laughs> he knows what he's doing now. He's able to clip it right. All right let's set it up. I'm going to get $3,000 for this gig. Oh, All I, do is ah, All right. I think I have it. I think it's on the six. We're going to get this fucking thing working, dude. But when we do, man, it is going to be obnoxious. <laughs> to oh, say the least. We're going to lose so many fans. Yeah, and they and their hands go up, yep. and they stay there, and they stay there. <laughs> it's so it's such an obnoxious song. And they stay up. <laughs> this song's pretty old. How did you just discover? I, I mean, just have, love it. I want to have so many like uh, drops from like just smarmy, uh, aggressively confident rap lyrics. I want to. I'm all the way up. <laughs> just constantly ready to go. <laughs> I want to start bragging more is what I'm trying to say. I yeah, to, dude. I want to get my brag on, too. Uh, I th DJ Lou, before I move, before our first break, we have 10 minutes before our first break for me to convince you to do this gig. Because then I got to talk. I watched the Biggie documentary yesterday. I'm ready to get into it? a whole bunch of it. I, I, I liked it. What? I liked it. What was the love about it? I didn't, there's what? nothing new in there. Uh, I have several funny things about it, though. All right. We want to book <laughs> Lou. Just say yes to this gig. Three grand? I got to think about they it. They are aware you don't know how to DJ. I mean, in theory, I could do it, but... Of course you could. I mean, we'd all have to go for moral support, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't Come work a crowd without you guys. Dude, are you... I would... I, oh could, my God, can I can't so watch DJ Deadrat. I can't watch DJ Deadrat not on mushrooms. <laughs> oh, dude. Can me, I'd just be sitting there chewing my jaw down. <laughs> Oh, dude, Dan, if me and you come out like, uh, like, like you know, the Professor Griffs or whatever, or the, the the public enemy thing, or we just stand with our arms folded and just let Jacob be all the personality with the big chain. Oh, yeah, then I just lean Silk in. Silk shirt open. Real... I want him dressed like The Rock in 1997. <laughs> oh, dude, and then I'm, I'm going to just keep saying real mushroom shit in between <laughs> songs. I'm going to be like this. <sighs> Did you guys know um, <laughs> air? Um... <laughs> Air is filling us and leaving us at the same time. There's no corners in air. It's everywhere. It's every shape. It's every... It's all along. Do you guys know that we're pretty much just the same level as existence as frogs? Here's another song. We're all spores, man. Uh, I'd love to trip mushrooms during DJ Dead Rat set. Oh, and I'm telling you, and Jacob is as hype man. 
That'd yeah. be so great. Put Christine in a cage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get Christine dancing in a cage. Yeah, but then, like, or, since or Chris, we're returning we'll back Chris, to this... Put Christine on a leash. Meth. I was so put, she just fucking pings around in that cage. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was saying, like, put a leash around her neck and make Black Lou hold it and just have Christine walk around oh, with, like, drinks on her back. Have, yeah, but have her barking at people, like a Rottweiler in a DMX video. Oh. And, and, Lou, and Black Lou pulling her back. Maybe that. I was going to say we could put her in a thong and have dudes drink uh, Moet, Moet out of her butt crack. <laughs> she while she twerks. Yeah, while she twerks. Oh, dude. Oh, it'd be rain and I champagne off Christine's good. booty because you know the bonfire. Get oh! Man, oh, man, I wish that was so much could louder. Imagine, <laughs> could you imagine the drone camera pulling away like they do in Sierra Rowan's video? Yes. And it's just a bunch of crowd. <laughs> and they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. <laughs> oh, this, this summer the bonfire is getting lit with DJ Dead Rat. Dead Rat, you got, I'm not talking to Lou right now. I'm talking to Dead Rat. Are you in on this gig? Are you verbally committing right now on the air? Uh, if you guys come with me, of course. Yes, 1,000%. When is it? I can't say yes to that. April 26th to May 3rd. Oh, the Billions is done mid-March, buddy. Well, I am locked and April, what is it? April what? Opening night, April 26th. Yeah, it's not. It's for 3,000 people. April, <laughs> April. What is it? Twenty sixth. I am currently uh, available. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be available. I'm going to be so popular by then. Lou, I say you say yes to this, and we go do. Let's do like a week from L.A. or something. Bonfire, dude. In April, why would we not do that? The bonfire. We have to. Yeah, we have to do it. They're going to love us out there. You know why? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, those two seconds, those two seconds that make so you lonely. not win at all. No one's winning with those seconds in between. And they stay there. And they stay there. I mean, Roman and Sierra are the people that take these songs literally. And oh my like, god! Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. Like, I, like, what kind of dumb dumb listens to this and is like, I really all I do is succeed. That's Lou, all I really do. Lou, you can play around with like Corey Feldman songs. I mean, like, you, it's yours. Oh, dude, you can do a mashup of "Go for It" with "Go for It" from Rocky Five. Holy God, that's a good idea. Thank you, dude. I won't mind being the fucking Mister. I wouldn't mind being the Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah, Are you gonna do that, dude? I hope you put these mixes together. I mean, we got DJ Watergate. We'll do the go for it, go for it mashup. Sure. sure. Oh, Dan used to work with Skrillex, so you're in good hands now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> People don't know this. Yeah, you just gotta have. He those, originally have to wanted those, to go uh, by his air horns. You have to have those drops. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, he shit. really originally Skrillex wanted to go by his legal name. I took him aside. I said, no, you're going to go by Skrillex, and we're going to make millions. I want to hear Jacob go, Puerto Rico, ho, Puerto Rico, ho, where are my Pariquas? Where are my Pariquas? <laughs> Mexicanos in the house. <laughs> it's Jacob and Tara squad. Lean back. Oh, Y'all didn't think this was about to happen. Somebody better get the body bags. It's a bonfire in this motherfucker. <laughs> Call me Burning Man because motherfuckers are about to die on the bonfire. <laughs> I'm way on board with all of this. All we do is win. Uh, I'll go. I'll go out. If, if, as long as it's LA, Jacob's if you're in LA? Yeah, you'd fly in. It's Orange County. It's the OC, bro. Yeah, if Lou will do it, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Dude, if, Lou, if, if, Lou, go. if you're in, I'm in. If you guys are in, I'm in. You're the only one making money on this, Lou. I'll, I'll give you a cut. No, we don't even want it. I want you to go out there Hell and no. fucking kill it with that helmet on. I want you to have to leave the bonfire because you're such a successful <laughs> DJ. I want. Uh, we'll find a way to get press coverage for this thing. Dude, you can, I'll hire a PR agent. I it's, don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's the... It's the uh, I'll blow my monthly fucking nut on... On DJ Lou's career. I'll stage mom the shit out of DJ Lou. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, DJ Dead Rat. All DJ right. Dead Rat. I'm telling you, we can make DJ Dead Rat a thing. <laughs> Presenting to the world, everybody, for the Great first action. time in public, his premier experience. <laughs> 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 
ladies and gentlemen, DJ Dead Fucking dead rat. The motherfucking dead rat lives. <laughs>